Thank you.
It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. I literally just got done setting up a button, so all that should happen at the same time, and it didn't happen. Very irritating. Very irritating. Hi, guys. How you doing? <laughs> now I'm going to go back and look at my fancy button because clearly that didn't work. Clearly that didn't work. Input, input. So then... If huh. That doesn't work. Why does that not work? Oh, hang on a minute. No, I don't want to. Yeah, that's what I want to do. No. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll mess with it more later. For some reason, it doesn't want to work. Oh, why is my sound low? Oh, I see why. Hold on. Let's try that. Hopefully, I'm not blowing your eardrums out. That might be a little high. Let's back it off about 90-ish. 90, 90 that ought to be better. There we go. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. That's what I get for messing around with, like, trying to adjust sound settings with two minutes left in my countdown. I'm like, huh, I've been trying to fix this for weeks. Maybe now's the time. No, now is not the time, you dummy. <laughs> How y'all doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yikes. Yikes. How we doing? How we doing? Good night. Uh, is that is that good night because you're here or good night because you're leaving? I don't I don't I don't know which. <laughs> Happy hump day. I'm glad for it, man. I'm glad for it. Move day. It is move day. Tomorrow, I didn't, my New Jersey shirt was dirty. I wanted to wear my New Jersey shirt. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with my North Carolina shirt. But tomorrow is moving day for Battleship New Jersey. Now, Kyle, I assume you guys are going to some effort to stream this? Or I know, you, I'm, I'm I know you've hired a film crew. But, like, are you gonna, is there going to be a live stream of this? Oh, Wild Ride. Don't say that about Battleship New Jersey. Be nice. Live stream on your channel. Over on YouTube. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. I'll have to look into that tomorrow. What time is the is the big moment, Kyle? What is the schedule like? I have not bothered to look. You should you should share for the viewers so we can have more people tuning in. Ooh, Altador. I know that I know that feeling. I know that that feeling. Final resting place? No, New Jersey is not going to final resting place. High tide is at 12.10. Okay. So you guys are going to be leaving literally right as the guys in Prague go on the air for their regular weekly uh, EU stream. That ought to be fun. We should... Um, I should... What I should do... Probably is my backpack is in for repairs. I should, I should get to... I should to try and set up one stream on one channel and you guys on a different monitor at work and see and see if I can get them to like talk about it or zoom in or something. That'd be really cool. That'd be pretty sweet. 60 second. Who's your happy birthday? Happy birthday. 62. I'm only a few years behind you. A few. A few. Oh man. We um last night for me was uh, of course Monday night I was here doing this with Zaf, uh, which was a little uh, in Paladin, which was a little unexpected but fun. I had a good time. And then um, last night was uh, a card gaming night, right? So I went out, and it's the blonde hair, Hoosier. It's the blonde hair. Um, if I if I put the camera on it just right, you can see the gray, right? But because it's like a it's like a dirty blonde, it's you know it's dicey. I'm gonna have at some point in the future, I will have this gorgeous you know silver hair. But for now, we aren't there yet. The blonde is still there. Oh, that clean living. Yeah, you don't know me all that well. Um, <laughs> Last night for me was card game night. Um, so for the, you guys that tuned in last week while I busted up uh, boxes of Star Wars Unlimited over the weekend, I built a bunch of decks. And then last night was my first chance to go and get some games in. That was a lot of fun. I traded one of my fancy showcase cards for another box, um, which had some good stuff in it that I needed. And then I promptly pulled another showcase out of that box. So I've had really good luck with those. I'm not sure why, quite what I'm going to do with those, but bourbon makes you younger. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's the... Um, yeah, Vladeshi, that's I'm pickling, I'm 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 slowly pickling my insides, right? That's what it is. 
That's what it is. That's how I'm going to preserve myself. If I drink enough alcohol, I'll preserve all my organs in pristine condition. Isn't that how it works? I thought I thought that was how it worked, right? I was I was told in uh, in high school biology that was how it worked. So that's that's what I'm banking on. That's my plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> no, Xanda, no. No, she's older than I am, and I'm 46. <laughs> My wife's a ginger wild ride, so there you go. That's what he's asking about. That's her hand. That's her online handle. Killians, you did nice. Um, maybe Altador, but I'm okay with it. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna do some more. I am. I am. Hang on a minute. I gotta come over to this. I gotta come over to this. Oh yeah, I gotta wait for OBS to pick up. Okay, so. I am one star from getting out of bronze. And let's see, when does this sprint? Six days. So I've got time. I only need one star. So my goal for the evening is to make it to silver. If I can get to silver, I will literally derp around in anything. I sort of don't care because it's a new it's a new sprint for me or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't really care, right? Um, but I got to win a game to get there. So for tonight, guys, tier 10 still on... Um, Still on special. Um, I'll play anything, of course, anything you want to put in there. And then um, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to try to queue up here first in my uh, my Humphreys, which is a boat that I really, really like. I think there's a, I think this ship has a lot going for it. Um, I'm going to try it, but I expect to be in this queue for a few minutes. Yes, Kyle. I'm. Oh, wow. That was fast. Okay. Yes, Kyle. I'm well aware. Trust me. It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. As as Ginger echoes echoes her 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 ascent from across the room. All right, Annapolis and Colbert. Can't say I'm excited about that. This is hot spot. All right. So at a minimum, I just need to not lose my star. That needs to be my main goal here. So let's work on this. I know, right, Merton? Radar minnow. Daniel says. Oh, okay. Are you making a request, Daniel? Is that is that what that is that what that meant's meant to be? I did play some Radar Minnow on Monday night. Had some good success with it. Zath and I had a Zath and I had a really fun little duel um, that last game of the night. I think, that, I think I'm gonna have to put that last game of the night up on YouTube. That was entertaining. The two of us kind of doing the little the little you know. Well, we're both dead. Let's call the game analysis. <laughs> that was really hilarious. Yeah, okay. Ultador, do me a favor. Go ahead and dump Minnow in the queue again, and I'll play it, and I'll just keep your points this time. Because someone in YouTube wants me to do it, and that way we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll make up for my mistake. How does that work? <laughs> All right, now my current plan is I'm going to try and move up here and throw Torps in this general direction and spot mid. That's my plan. Now, if that's going to, I have no idea if that's going to work or not. I do... I don't outspot the Yamagiri. Oh, Altador, it'll 100% be Minotaur. There's no other way to play Minotaur, in my opinion. Hang on, man. There we go. I've got a fan underneath my desk. So in the summertime or when it's warm, it kind of helps get some air moving. Um, but it's cool enough tonight that I need I need the movement, but I don't need the volume. So I turned it down a notch. <laughs> I don't know, Wild. I, I thought you could. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate the kind words. All right. Torps are loaded. So let's get busy. Um, Johnny, not quite so much. My work is all in offshore oil and gas. Um, most of my heavy duty design experience is with drilling facilities. So that's going to be a uh, large rotating equipment. Um, winches. I mean, the, the, the draw works is basically a giant winch 
a whole lot of so three four thousand horsepower on that on that motor on those series of motors um the top drive all the various pipe handling equipment a drilling rig is an industrial facility right so it's mostly about material handling um high horsepower high torque all that sort of thing because you're, you're you're drilling holes you're making holes in the ground right Ooh, wonder if the Colbert has his hydro up. Looks like he does. Oh my goodness gracious, what in the hell is that hashtag? What did Bogsy do? Bogsy, what did you put them up to? What in the hell is that? <laughs> you boys finished early, didn't you? Or Well, no, I guess right on time, technically. I'm used to you running a little late. You were kind of right on the money there, weren't you? I'm a little I'm I'm a little shocked if I'm honest. I'm a little shocked. Well, welcome in everybody. Welcome in Raiders. How we doing? All right. Schlieff and Annapolis. Okay, so I got a Mecklenburg and a Colbert. The Colbert is probably going to snuggle the Islander, play the gap along the three line. Wednesday boozy boxy. All right. Ohio looks like maybe he's trying to cap. I genuinely don't... Oh, the man, they're lighting the Ohio on fire already. I love that. Guys, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Now, this guy doesn't have smoke. I love his name, Jussie Smolensk. That is a great name. That is a great name. Good morning, Revan. Okay, so the Yamagiri is up here with me somewhere. Let's find him. How we doing, buddy? Ah, look who I found. Yep, he's going to smoke and bail like ASAP. No way am I continuing to sail forward. He 100% torped in front of me. Well, our Condi made a series of unfortunate decisions, it would seem. I'm actually a little irritated at this Ohio. He's just out here getting farmed by the Colbert like he's okay with it. I like what the Mecklenburg's doing, though. That's going to feel really good in a minute. Come on, torpedoes. Come on, torpedoes. Come on, torpedoes. I know you have the legs. Do it. Do it. Give me two hits. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we take Humphreys. I did get the Duke CD signed. When the game's over, guys, let me, I'll talk to you. Well, we can talk about, uh, we can talk about uh, Carrier Con here for a minute. Looks like I'm going to get one into the Ohio. Let's get flipped just a hair. Right now, I'm just spotting for the Ohio. Now he's going to be stuck flooding for a while. The RPF means that I'm probably going to draw some torpedoes out here if I'm not careful. So let me, let me leave this guy another rack. And then get the hell out of here. I'm glad. I'm glad we took their Schlieffen out. I'm still torqued that their Schlieffen killed Arcande. That should. I don't feel like that should have happened. But we are where we are. We still have never seen this Annapolis. No, we have the Annapolis. Wait. No, the Annapolis is dead. Okay, I like all of that. Let's get this Ohio lit again. There he is. I'm betting on the Colbert trying to wrap and come down the three line. Let's see what happens. Ooh, well, I got the reset on the Ohio, who is desperately trying to cap. I'm not RPF'd anymore, which tells me the Yamagiri is probably up here in the cap close to the Yami. There's the Colbert. Yami's pushing. Yep, Yamagiri's up here in the cap now. I Looks like I'm not going to catch this guy. Yep, hi. How we doing? You're bold. I know your smoke is out too, buddy. I'll tell you what, let's get in this fight. How are we doing? Wow, what took half my HP away? I'm a little salty about that, kids. I'm not going to lie. Looks like we're about to get French radar in here. Yeah, I am getting French radar, which means I'm probably going to die. Uh, 
Yeah, my battleship ran and left me to die at the hands of the Colbert, so thanks. Thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, Ohio. I really could have used your help right there. Uh, just as an FYI. Alright, they finally killed... Okay, the Ohio... Okay, they put out the Schlieffen, they put out the... Yam uh, put out the Ohio. The Yamagiri is burning to death. So let's do some of this. And try not to get dead. Come on, DM, you gotta kill him, buddy. I managed to keep my ship. Alright, I killed the Yamagiri. Let's see if we can cap A. I'm betting on no. I'm betting on no. Although the Yammy's not going to be able to cap C. I should probably get in there. So, Duckman. French radar is, oh, look, you're in smoke and I have a stupidly high rate of fire. I'll just continue to fire shells until you die. That's that's French radar. All right. So, the Torps on the Mecklenburg are a failure. Guys, thank you for all the follows. I'm sorry I can't call you out one by one. It's too many. <laughs> you are too many. Okay, I don't think I can go in there with a with a Mecklenburg. I think my play now is to move up and keep the Colbert spotted while trying to cap A. If I can keep the Colbert spotted such that the Ohio can murder him, life starts to feel pretty good. Yeah, about like that. About like that. Let's see how we do. Well, you're not wrong, Duke. You're not wrong. All right, if you're going to leave A, I'm going to go get it. So y'all have fun. I keep waiting for the... All the Ohio, Ohio only has to get lucky like once. Yeah, he hasn't gotten there yet. Oh, God, Colbert is such an irritating ship. Oh, he's behind the smoke. Okay. There we go. All right, they finally capped. That's good. No, I don't I need you to go away. I need you to I need you to avoid A, my friend. There you go. Stay away from my cap. This is my cap. Go away. Go be somewhere else. Goodness gracious. Well, Raiders, welcome in. Pre yeah, accuracy by volume. Welcome in, everybody. My name is C Raptor. It's possible, as I as I said a few weeks ago, it's possible over the years you've run across some of my content either here on Twitch or over on YouTube. Um, I've been a, a North American contributor for yikes many years now. I think it's coming up. I think summer is is summer six years. Yeah, yeah. June or uh, June is like six years. So it's been it's been a hot minute. Um, Started on Twitch all those years ago, doing uh, doing competitive casts for um, for tournaments. That that remains my bread and butter, in my opinion. That's that's kind of what I enjoyed most about uh, about doing this gig. Come on, guys! I've been, this guy's been out here spotted forever. Could you please just murder him? Madre de Dios! This is so ridiculous. There you go. Finally. Okay, now you're in a secondary duel with the Schlieffen. You might actually kill the Schlieffen. God, this Colbert is just murdering my entire team. That was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't want to die. I thought I was going to use the Schlieffen as a spotter. I should have done that a little. I should have done that a long time ago. Okay, he'll come cap. He has no way to spot me. That's the one. It's the one thing I got going for me. He has no way to. He has no way to spot me on his own. <clears throat> To get out here on the north side of the smoke for the Des Moines can hit him. There we go. You think you know where I am, but it doesn't do you much good if the Des Moines can murder you. All right, DM, it's time. It's time for you to be relevant now. I'm waiting. 
He's healing. Madre de Dios. I mean, this guy's already saved his star just by virtue of the fact he has all these kills. He can't show any angle. He can't show any angle to the DM or he's a dead man. But now, if he's gonna if he's gonna look away, now I can have some fun with him. Yeah. You're not the only one with fast firing guns, my dude. You're done. Get wrecked. You're gonna kill me, but I don't care. You died. <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. There it was. There it was. <sighs> Out of bronze. Out of bronze. And now I can just derp around and do whatever I want for a while. <laughs> I don't care. I don't have to be a tryhard anymore. I don't have to be a tryhard anymore. Schlieffen crushed it. Yamato played a solid game. I feel sad for Arcande. It feels like he got screwed on that deal. I don't know exactly what happened there. I, I, that was not a carry. I mean, Striker, I don't know what you're doing in your game, but that for me, that was not a carry. I got carried by the Schlieffen for 100%. 100% carried by that guy. Solid. Fun. All right. Okay, so back to port. So, guys, um, hi, my name's C-Raptor. Here's the, here's the way this works, guys. I, I stream boats usually once a week. Uh, this is an odd week in that I did uh, I did a Monday night stream of boats as well. Ordinarily, Monday night is Civilization Six, but we do multiplayer Civ on Monday nights, and we weren't able to get the game off. So had some folks get sick, so we did we did boats on Monday night as well with my good buddy Lord Zaf. I was just mixing to say I think we got a shout out for Zaf in the chat. So excellent, thank you. Make sure you throw him a follow as well. Um, Tonight is just boats. I'm going to derp around and do whatever. I take requests for channel points in the in the bottom of the screen there. You can click the little channel points button. It'll pop up and you can make requests. Um, tonight I have tier 10 ships on special. I'm sort of allowing super ships as well in that uh, in that for channel points. The trick is, is that I don't own every super ship. So if you request one, you may not get it because there's about I only own about half of them. Okay, And if it's a super carrier, I'm just going to laugh at you and turn you down because I suck at carrier. And you don't want me playing. You don't want me embarrassing the team trying to play a super carrier. Of course, I wouldn't be doing that in ranked. You can't play carriers in this season. But still, you don't want me doing that. Um, my highest tier Commonwealth cruiser. I do. I do have a Hobart now. I should give that a shot. Actually, why don't we do that? Why don't we? Why don't we just duck over and play Hobart for a bit? Because I just picked that up at the end of the last stream, and I have not actually played the ship yet. I did play Delhi. I have not played Hobart. Now, this looks like a Leander, basically, right? I mean, basically, I think that's what it is. Uh, let's see. Airstrike. Yeah. Ooh, fast airstrike. Give me this anyway. Give me that anyway. Um, so, Grant is joking, of course. I, I consider myself one of the worst battleship players on NA. That's a bit of an exaggeration. There are some battleships that I quite enjoy and am decent with. But in general, you don't want me playing battleship on your team. Um, cruiser and destroyer is much more my speed. It's simply what I am. Uh, I'm better at. I have more experience, more comfort in them, etc., etc., etc. Now at tier six, let me look at this AA suite. That's not bad for a tier six boat. If I was to run that up against, let's say, a Dallas, I'm betting that that AA suite is going to be relatively comparable. No, Dallas is better, but it's all. In yeah, okay. It's not all in the short range. The mid-range R on Dallas is better too. But that's not terrible. Like it's not going to win any it's not going to win any awards. Hmm. Yeah, why wouldn't he be? Monday was a great stream. We had a blast. Um, let's see. Um I think you want to go smoke generator here cuz of Crawly smoke. I think you want to do I probably want to do hydro. Crawly smoke, like all smoke attracts hydro. So let's do Hydro. Oh, man, thank you for the follow. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Buy the thing and install the thing. Yada, 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 yada. Monday stream was a good time. 
Money stream was a good time. You know, Zath and I spent probably nearly the last 20 minutes just flapping our gums, right? Which we do a lot of come tournament time. And it was fun. And it was at the end of the stream, we were both like, you know, maybe we should do this more often, right? Like, yeah, we talk a lot. But it was, I, I mean, it's easy. It's easy to get into a good conversational rhythm when it's a topic you enjoy, at least in my experience, right? If it's a topic you don't care about, you just kind of sit back and play with your phone and sip your drink, right? But if it's a conversation that that you at least have a vested interest in, it um, it feels pretty good, right? I think we'll go over the HE. We'll skip the flooding. I don't think I'm going to get a lot out of these torps. What have I got for a commander? Uh, I've got some better commanders I can throw in here. Now, my Perth commander is probably a really good one for this. Now, I don't have the spotter plane. So that skill is going to be largely wasted. But if I were to grab my Perth Commander... Wait a minute. No, where is my Perth Commander? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a Commander Perth Commander. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. This dude. Yeah, so the spotter plane skill would be garbage. But the rest would work for this ship. I think, however, I'm going to spec a different captain. Um... Go back where you were, and then I'm going to grab that 19-pointer I had laying around. I'm going to grab this dude. We're going to respec him for this boat. Uh, Duckman, that has a far longer conversation than I think either of us have time for. But when you want to have that conversation, you ping me, and I'll, I'll catch you up, okay? All right. We want to do that. We want to do that. Actually, I don't know about that. We want to do those two for sure. I think those three. I think that's how we start this off. And then I think maybe down the road, yikes, 27,000. These things are light. What's the concealment? At least she's stealthy. I'll give her that. 27,000 HP. That's like two solid citadels from a tier 8 battleship. <laughs> That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. The torps are decent. I believe the torps are decent. 10 kilometer torps on 9-7 detection. I mean, that's not bad. My point is, is that... These, these cruisers are not torpedo cruisers in the way that the Japanese lights are torpedo cruisers. So in my mind, you probably don't want to invest a lot in the torpedoes. If you got a couple of skill points laying around, you want to throw them in there, hey, go ahead, right? But I think it's not the, it's not the main point of the ship. It's not what the ship is going to do best. So I don't think that, in, like, I don't want to over invest in them, right? I feel like that's a bad, I mean, that's a mistake. Okay, uh, let's put a camo on her. I like both of those. Let's buy the... Yeah, for 100? Sure, that's fine. I like that blue. Man, that blue is pretty. All right, let's get her uh, her Royal Navy flag on there. Hobart, of course, should be uh, Royal Australian Navy. All right, let's see. This is all good. This is all good. We did captain skill. We did everything else. Yada, 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 yada. I think... I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. This is Hobart. Now, I had a game last week in Delhi that was irritatingly epic. That was the one that came down to the very end. And um, uh, you guys were like, oh, send that one to Jingles. So I did. I haven't heard back. He's obviously got a lot on his plate, and I'm not concerned. But I did send it. I, I basically sent him out. I said, my chat said I had to send this to you. So consider my, my my end of the bargain done. What you do with it at this point is up to you, sir. So. <laughs> the Delhi game, Merton, the Delhi game was a little soul crushing. Losing in the last possible second was a little soul crushing. To put it lightly. To put it lightly. Brian, you're welcome. I, I still don't think very highly of Poltava, and yet I still had 100,000 damage. So clearly there's there's something there with me that's not jiving. Now, you have to also remember, right, and this is the thing about, about boats, especially now that there's, what, six or 700 ships in the game. Some ships just don't click with people, right? I have plenty of ships in the game that, that are, like, I'm well aware of how good they are, but the ship will never perform well when I drive it because it's just something about it, the way it plays, the way it handles, something doesn't click with me and so it's one of these things like i'll play it guys but you know the results are on you because this ship and i don't get along right sometimes i don't i don't find those ships for a while sometimes i'm you know keenly aware of them well in advance 
All right, well, middle tier. This is pretty solid matchmaking for a tier six boat. I can't really, I really can't really kvetch. I really hope to find one of these Omaha's in mid with some AP in the barrel. That would make me super happy. Um, okay, I'm gonna push up behind this Gepar because I can. I don't, I'm not gonna get the chance to test my AA, which honestly is fine. Uh, I know the torpedo range. Thanks. Okay, we'll just leave that up. That's good enough. I'm going to push up behind this Gepard so I can play mid and use my moderately, my basically crappy gun range to, uh, to, to, to shoot anything I can find out here. How good is Delhi? Delhi's okay. Um, the, 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 the six guns feels a little, is a little undergunned for the tier. Genuinely, truthfully, it feels bad. And they're like in like an eight second reload or something. I don't know. She's okay. Um, the smoke gives her some longevity that she wouldn't otherwise have as a, as a light cruiser, right? Regardless of the matchmaking. Like, you're a light cruiser. You're going to get shot at by everything that's got bigger guns, and everything has bigger guns. So, uh, that's nice. Um, I will say, I, and we've talked about this playing the Japanese lights a little bit over the last week or so, the submarine surveillance feels like a little bit of a trap. Uh, you have to be very, very, very cautious how you choose to use that. Because I think a lot of people uh, run the risk of pushing up too early in the effort to find find and st on stomp on the cockroach. And that honestly is not how that should go, in my opinion. But Delhi's delhi has got some things going for it. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm wondering if maybe I don't have, don't have the balls to try for this cap myself. I'm bow on to the things that could hurt me right now. The Legal is lit. The Kirov's trying to wipe him out. I think the Kirov salvo is not going to get here in time. Gepard's going to A. They don't seem to have a destroyer in mid. They don't. Farragut is north. Oh, I got a Leander here. Okay, that means I'm going to have to slow down and do my crawly smoke thing. Hold on. Because Leander... I mean, because uh, Akatsuki is south and Farragut is north. So we're gonna we're gonna try and creep into the cap here. Now that these now that Leander was spotting me, he's in his smoke. I'm gonna accelerate through, get into the cap, and then crawl. This is the same kind of shenanigans you could you could do with a Perth, right? That you kind of get used to doing with Perth. All right, now that I'm here. Let's make sure we don't eat torpedoes. What's up, Alaska? Four non-pens. Yikes. Feels bad. I'm going to have to accelerate, I think, to avoid one of these. Let me pick it up just a hair. Okay, they ran out of range. Sharnhorse looks like he's going to take one. Yep, taking one of midships. All right, I got one into the, I got one into the Sharn and probably I got one into either the Asturias or the Leander. I don't know which back there, but I'll take it. Somebody's flooding. Okay, it's the Leander. He's not flooding. He's just running now. I know your DCPs. Oh no, you are flooding. I can see the I can see the steam. Okay. So the Sharn horse has got a flood on him. Let's see if we can add a fire to it. There we go. Somebody added a fire to him. Let's get another one. Okay, he DCP'd. Smoke has got 10 more seconds. I'm going to get about two more salvos, then I'm going to have to back off. Last salvo here. All right, time to go. All right, so that worked out pretty well. I really want to fire out of that last salvo. Pretty please? Damn it. Okay. Most of their team is clustered up here in mid. I'm going to back off again. I got two minutes till my smoke comes back. We're going to rotate south. That was a solid, a solid turn. We got a cap and a whole pile of damage out of that smoke. That feels pretty good. 
Yeah, I can see the, the, the turret rotation is kind of crap for a light cruiser big dog, but given the other um, uh, advantages the ship has, I sort of understand it. I don't have to like it, but I kind of get it. Okay, he's, he's got to another heal. I really don't like that. Okay, I need to back off. Okay, I have wide and, wide and regular. Yeah, I need to back off. As I come around this island, there's going to be people there to spot me. I don't care for that. Mm. Tactical, there's a name I have not seen logged in in a long time. Mesrith is good people. Mesrith is good people. He's one of the founders of uh, of my clan here, of Kraken. I'm a 9-7 detection. There we go. I, like, I, ought to fall, I ought to fall out of spotting soon and soon here. Their whole team is clustered behind that island. I just, I legit do not understand what is happening back there. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cheeky and try to kill steal the Kirov here. Two pens. I'm close. He just got smoke. Okay, Kirov went down. Anonymous with the gifted subs. Well, Anonymous, whoever you are, thank you very much. Welcome in. Appreciate you. Oh, submarine's in front of me? Well, I know just what to do with you, sir. All right. I'm going to keep shelling this Colorado on the assumption he's going to ignore me while I go try to go murder his submarine buddy. He should probably be trying to kill this McKenzie while, I've got, while I can see him, but my guns will be more effective against the Colorado. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on him. I'm coming. You're faster than I am, dude. Oh, That's irritating. That shouldn't have happened. I literally sailed into that one I shouldn't have. Alright. Run him down. Run him down, Gepar. Then we'll have some fun with him. I'm kind of missing my heel right now. Yeah, I know, but if he surfaced, the Gepard is murdering him with his guns, so I don't, I'm betting on him not being surfaced. Tearlock, thank you for the follow. Oh, now he's surfaced. Hi. I'm a little in front of him, actually, because he turned right there. He's dead. All right. Oh, crap. Oh, this could be bad. Woo! Screw you, Colorado. You big meanie. You big meanie. You still looking at me? Yeah, you're still looking at me. The Omaha is shooting at me at 16 clicks. Okay, sure. That's your thing, man. Like, you got nothing better to do over there but shoot at the light cruiser? Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, hey, Akatsuki. I don't know how we're spotting you, but I don't care. You're getting shot at. And that's a win. We zeroed them out at the same time we hit 1,000 points. There you go. Yeah, there was an Omaha up there shooting at me. I don't know why, but that's what he was doing. Still alive somehow. Yeah, Brian, that was a, that was a, that was a Hobart. That's the new Tier 6 Commonwealth Cruiser, which I'm realizing now I... Probably should have put some econ bonus. What? I get more bizarre XP results these days than it feels like ever before. And that 100% falls on the list right there. I have no kills. I have a full cap because I capped the mid by myself. 
And I have some damage. I have a little bit of spotting damage, right? But I don't even, I have 60,000 damage. Like, that's weird. How am I supposed to explain that, Xanda? It wasn't my hashtag. You're going to have to, you're going to have to get the raiders to explain that. Who came in from the Warships raid that can ex that can explain the hashtag? Because I don't get it. It must be a... It, okay. Well, then explain it, Xanda, because I got nothing, buddy. I have no idea what that is. I cannot help you. That sounds like vintage Bogsy shenanigans. No, I did nothing. On, I did nothing at Carrier Con with that in that regard. All right, Hobart. Not bad. I mean, she's not going to win any awards, but she's certainly not bad for a mid-tier light cruiser. I can't really complain. He said I would explain it. How am I supposed to explain it? I got nothing. But I've slept since then, right? This is the thing. If, if you tell me a funny story, I'm going to laugh about it. But within 12 hours, I probably won't remember it. So, that's just the way it is. Ice and rubbing on... I'm not coming up with anything, wife aggro. I'm not coming up with anything. Yeah, I guess, I guess that. <laughs> Zath is like, do you remember that one time in Austin you were so drunk you don't remember? No, that because that's actually never happened. At least not to me. Zath knows who I'm talking about. Can I play Canarias? I can give it a go. I can give it a go. Um, what was the Civ Six? Alaskan. Alaskan. We didn't. We didn't do any Civ Six this week because some folks were sick. Unfortunately, um, we did do Civ Six last week, and we'll probably be doing Civ Six on Monday uh, next Monday as well. So, if that's your bag, if you want to come in and hang out with us while we do some Civilization, please come on by. You have no pictures, Zath. You do not have pictures. That is a lie. That is a lie. Learning, I'm trying to remember, right? We all went out to dinner that night. So, but the tr here's the trick, okay? We all went out to dinner that night, but the, the overwhelming majority of that conversation that I remember revolved around Newfoundland. Um, the, the, one of the guys on staff here on NA is a native Newfoundlander. And he was, I think, a little shocked to discover that I had lived there for two and a half years. Wilfred, thank you for the follow. And so we were the conversation, we were trying, there were like 10 or 12 people there, whatever it was. We were trying to explain to them um, what screeching in was. He basically started like, you know, he looks at me, he goes, were you screeched in? I said, of course I was screeched in. And 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 then he starts trying to explain to all his coworkers, the other wargaming people, what that is, what that means. The 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 motto that you see and the, the, the vile, disgusting alcohol you have to drink and the co you you literally kiss a cod on the lips, right? This is a, this is totally a thing, and um, and they thought he was full of crap, and he's kind of pointing at me, and I'm like, no, that's all true. I did it. That's 100 percent real. That that's a thing. They I said I said basically the getting screeched in in is the Newfoundland version of hazing. I remember asking him. I said um, I said how many of you were like rushed a frat in college. And, like, one of the ladies down at the end was like, sorority. And I was like, okay, close enough, right? I was like, you probably did some goofy, hazy, silly, stupid crap, right, while they were hazing you, right? She was like, yeah. I said, okay. I said, that's what getting screeched in in Newfoundland is, right? When you're a CFA on the island, on the rock, a come from away, if you're non-native and you're living there, you're working there, you're there on for visiting, whatever, and you go to get screeched in, it's their way of razzing you and hazing you. That's all it is. It's a goofy ceremony. You get a little certificate, right? It's just fun. Screech is not a subtle drink. Screech, frankly, Screech is disgusting. <laughs> Screech is disgusting. They make it out of molasses. And so you'd think, oh, it's going to be like rum. No, it is not like rum at all. Never buy or drink Screech. It is vile. Okay, let's look through requests here. I see Manitar. I see... I don't have any... <laughs> And Venezia and Summers. I do not have a Texas passport. No. Is that what that is, Grant? Okay, so that must... I know, right, Miles? That must be what that is. I so... Screech was insane. 
Gaelic can confirm. Okay. So, so Grant, I think Grant has, for those of you still curious about the nipple lasers thing, I think Grant has nailed it. About, man, when was this? This was late 21, I think. So about two and a half years ago, I got involved in a production over on the Crown Channel uh, here on Twitch that was called, well, they Twitch and YouTube, but they were the live stream that I was a part of was here on Crown. And it was called Click Sport 2. The year before, um, a Hollywood actor named Dan Fogler, who you may have seen uh, in some of the stuff, probably the, the best, most recognizable thing he's done is he was like the the American muggle in all of the uh, the new uh, Harry Potter movies, the Fantastic Beast films. Um, he and some buddies of his came up with this goofy idea to do like a video game tournament entertainment style, but he played the part of like this evil space lord coming to conquer Earth, and he was making the video gamers play for his amusement um, and in the hopes that he wouldn't kill them when he got here to conquer the planet. So it was this, it was just kind of a fun, goofy idea to get people together and 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 have a have a video game tournament. The first year they did it, I forget one of the games was World of Tanks, and I genuinely forget the other one. But the second year they did it, the year I was involved in was World of Warships and a game called um, it was like Garuda Garuda Freestyle or something like this. It was one of these like battle royale first person shooter style games. Um. That's that's 100% Xander. That's that's so that's the story I'm telling. And um part of the show what they wanted to do was I was originally going to I was supposed to fly to Atlanta and be on the sound stage while they did the live portion of this stuff. My job was to just call the games. When there were teams playing warships on the screen, my job was to explain what was happening because a whole lot of people were watching that had probably never seen warships before. Um but I was also working with other live actors who were in costume as like, you know, space aliens or whatever, like goofy minions of this evil space lord that were trying to do his bidding and like, you know, whatever. And they so they're in character, like on camera, live in character the whole time. And so much of this wasn't scripted. They did a lot of improv, a lot of improv. And after um, we did, I think we did, we did a couple of rehearsals and then we did a dress rehearsal. And then the live production was two consecutive days, and I think they were two-hour streams apiece. And on the second day, they had done something that I thought was really... I still to this day, I think it was really awesome, but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> um, and it was... Uh, they had created an intro, a Jurassic Park-themed stream intro based on my name. And so there's a clip out there. No, 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 Wild Ride. No, no, no. The 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 goofy the goofy uh, alien god guy played by the actor was was that guy. He was he 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 acted like Ricardo Montalban in Wrath of Khan, right? He had like this ridiculous prosthetic chest that gave him like a six pack and everything, and he put on he put on that accent so that he sounded he sounded like Khan. Um, it was really hilarious. There's some clips of it out there. Um, hang on a minute. There's a who was it that sent me the clip? Uh, here we go. Here we go. So here, I'm going to send you, I'll, I'll post the clip in chat. Hang on a minute. Okay. So in chat, I'm about to post the clip of the intro that they ran on the second day of the stream. There you go. So somebody had, Chris Santos clipped this out of the stream. And so they still use this little phrase, this little, our favorite creature of land and sea. It's really, it's really fun. It was, I, I was flattered. I didn't know they were going to do that. That wasn't in the script. They did that on their downtime in between streams. I had no idea they had done it. Oh, that was really cool. Correct, Alaskan. He was also on Fantasy Island. Okay, enough, enough jibber jabber. But that's where it comes from, is that the goofy, evil, alien, like, space boss thing in that, in that production had some, had some goofy things. So, okay, let's get back to Ranked. I'm going to take this Manitar request, which came from, uh, came from YouTube that Ultador blessedly put in for me. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, let's do that. Omen. Um, so let's see. Let's look at this for a minute. I know. Uh, where can you put that? So the one I use is a mod, Omen. Um, there's a mod that you can install. I've just used the green ones for years, literally like eight years. For whatever reason, all those years ago when I was installing mods, I found that one and I just like it and I just use it all the time. I feel like... There's a way you can put some of that in here, or does it all come from mods? Whatever floats your boat, Wild. I am. I trust me. I'm not offended. You do you, buddy. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. 
Is that a thing in here now? I guess it's not. For some reason, I thought it was. I thought you could turn on, like, um, shell tracers. How is it called? Okay, hold on. You don't have to joke, my man. You don't have to joke. I'm not offended. I don't care. I've been called way worse. I've been called way worse. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna run the installer and get you the name of the thing, Omen. Hold on a minute. One moment. No, I don't want to download it. I'm not even gonna install things. I just want to look at this. Come on. Okay, here we go. Colquitt, thank you for the follow. All right, mini map markers. It's down here somewhere. Let's see. Battle GUI. Um, ribbons. Compass elements. That's not it. It's not crosshairs. Camera. It's not port. Ports, flags, ammo. Here we go. Um, let's see. What is the name of this mod? Doesn't tell me. Okay. So, Omen, I'm going to type this in chat. It's called Main Guns Lines by Compass Ghost. Compass. There we go. In chat. And so when you install that mod, apparently one of the options is, is green. They have like green, red, yellow, whatever. I use green. So that's what you're seeing is the, is the green ones. All right. Let's take this Minotaur game. Um, I think I'm in silver now, right? I'm in like silver 10. Excellent. So this is Manitar. I like to play Radar Minnow. And this is for over on... Who asked for this over on YouTube? Daniel wanted this one. H9, I don't, I don't know of one. I do have one for AA as well. I use the one for A. No problem, moment. Anytime. Um, Torps on the mini-map. That one I don't have. Okay. I have the one that when the submarine pings, it shows that on the minimap. Because I think that's information that should be there, right? The minimap to me has always been a tool that I think Wargaming is a little afraid of. Um, years ago, like right now in the game, right? You can put, you can attach ship names to the minimap. And when a ship is last spotted, it'll be, it'll be behind that little shadowed icon. China, thank you for the follow. It'll leave behind that little shadowed icon that represents the last known position of that particular ship. There was a time in this game that both of those functionalities were mods added by players. Um, and I always thought that was silly. To me, that's always um, that's always been information that should have always been on the minimap. And Wargaming eventually got around to putting it there, right? So, because even now today, I can toggle ship names on the minimap, right? And that sort of thing. But... Um, there was a time that you had, that was a mod you had to install. There's been a lot of mods over the years that have eventually found their way into the base interface of the game. Okay, I'm going to see. Lushun has no smoke. Daring has only quick, quick wimpy smokes. I'm just going to play over here behind the island and do what I can. Flaming. There is no mod that makes the autopilot work, works properly. And my assumption is if there was, Wargaming would kill it because autopilot in this game has been broken for like six years and it just doesn't seem like it's ever going to get fixed. All right, I got a small one and a Yang. My money's on the Yang having radar. Well, the small one will have radar. The, the Yang gets a choice, but my money's on the Yang having radar as well. I got to be very careful of any of these things shooting at me. They can all probably overpen me. I mean, uh, full pen me from just about any angle they shoot at me. What's up, Sully? Oh, God, H9. Autopilot is so terrible. Autopilot is so bad in this game. Okay. My radar fully covers this cap from this position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck myself in... Right over here, off to this, onto this island on my starboard side with my guns looking back over my stern port, port quarter here. Lucian's got his hydro up. I love all of that. We're going to sit right here.
Only going to fire once. Only going to fire one rack. Defense is stopping. That should get the Yang's attention. Getting good value out of this radar. I'm loving all of it. All right. You have to finish him off. Oh, that's going to hurt. Eh, that could have been a lot worse. Now, the small one is going to be a problem over here. Our daring is going to need help. Yeah. Ooh, maybe not. Come on, daring. Can you win, can you win that gunfight? Oh, Daring wins the gunfight. Nicely done. Nope. Kremlin cleaned him out. All right. So, bad trade over there. But with my radar here, we ought to be able to keep these guys out of the cap. I got to be very careful about sneaking out here with the St. Vincent having a shot on me. And I don't quite know where the Lushun is. That is, that is a risk. St. Vincent probably going to get smacked here a little bit. Let's see what happens. Yep, here comes the AP. He's pretty soft. Well, he weathered that okay. Okay, I'm going to move up just a hair here. Yang's coming back in. You sure about that, Mr. Yang? Oof. Okay. We're going to back off a hair here. I'm going to turn my guns so that we can have fun with this Kremlin. The defense will have no shots over here. Come on, I can get these over. Yeah, our St. Vincent is getting smashed. He's going to have to leave. Not sure what the Kremlin is doing precisely. It feels not smart, whatever it is. I'm a little high. Yeah, there we go. I need to kill this guy before he gets the ram on my poison. There we go. He's going to die here. All right. That was time well spent. Iron Light with the resub. Thank you so much. All right. Lucian's got the cap covered. St. Vincent has printed a new ship, which I'm a huge fan of. Our poison managed to not die, although it looks like he's still burning. Yang is never getting into this cap while I live. So, just need to kind of... This is the spot for me. I need to hang right here. My radar covers, defends the sea cap. There's no need to push. We have a, we have a, we have a one ship lead. Life is good. Game is muted. Hold on. No, game is not muted. Game might be quiet. That I can work on, potentially. Hold on. There we go. That should help. I just turned the game up in the stream quite a bit. Let me know if that's better. Oh, hang on a minute. I think there's I think I I think I know what might be. Oh, the defense is coming, is he? What is he doing, I wonder? Yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. It's not showing up, and it should be. That's so odd. Okay, hold on. Are you sure about that, St. Vincent? Like, I'm totally happy for you to sit there and let me just farm all your HP. But I'm betting you don't want to do that. All right, let me give me a minute. I'll work on it. We just need to not make any forced errors here. That's all we got to do. Um, let's see here. I can also... I don't want to turn it up in here. I can turn it up... Oh, I think I see what happened. Okay, let's try that. The, it got turned way down in stream because some of the some of the things I was doing earlier. Hold on. And then let's do that as well. That ought to help. A few things earlier got messed up in my sound settings. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Sakura, thank you for the follow. All right. Our poison finally bought it. That sets us back on time. But the St. Vincent also bought it. So now then, what do I do? I don't want to push a Thunderer. I certainly don't want to push a Defense. I think I want to just chill. I think I want to continue to chill right here. I think moving up just gets me dead. Doesn't get me much here. I might move into this gap just to just to give just to give the defense something else to worry about if I can sneak in here. Oh, he looks like he's going for the ram or something, some shenanigans. Let's be crazy. I shouldn't do this. I'm going to turn into here though. He's not moving crazy fast. Okay, no, yeah, he did. He moved, he sped up. I want to defend my St. Vincent here. Die. There we go. I was like, I defended my poison. I want to defend the other battleship if I can. There we go. Shiva, thanks for thanks for being here. Have a good one. Minotaur with radar is always, always amazing. Minotaur, in my opinion, Minotaur is 100% how you play this shit. I understand all of the arguments people make for not doing it. I I get it. She's fragile, yada, yada, yada. But, man, if you're going to play a Minotaur, put on your big boy pants and do it right. <laughs> that's, that's my philosophy anyway. Hmm. Chaser, as good as Brisbane is, I don't like Brisbane as much. Her detection is too high for me for the fragility. She's nearly a full kilometer easier to spot than Minotaur is, and I don't care for that. I understand all the arguments about the HE. She's more, more valid against more targets, blah, 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 blah. I get all of that. I just still vastly prefer... Um, nice time extension. That might give me a chance to get in here and get a cap. Um, I still vastly prefer Minotaur. Well, this ship does have a 53 second radar. 52.8 seconds of radar. You're welcome, Danby. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to swing in behind this guy and let him draw all the fire. Good. We're going to finish this cap right before the game ends. I just don't want... I don't want to be too close. I don't want him to miss and accidentally citadel me with HE or some garbage because Thunder... There we go. Six seconds. Solid win. Love it. Radar Minotaur, ladies and gentlemen. Always good. Always good. Never boring. 
That's the one thing about Radar Minotaur. It's not boring, right? This th Playing this ship is like your butt will clench six times a game. <laughs> like, oh, God, no. Is this the moment I'm going to die? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, it's happening. Oh, I'm all right. Whew, okay. Like, <laughs> as long as you prepare yourself for that, it's it's perfectly fine. Um, Omen, there's there's two ways to get mods. Um, I need somebody. I need somebody to do me a favor and pull up a link to the mod, the Wargaming Mod Station. I don't use that one. What I'm going to do in chat for you, Omen, is I'm going to post a link to um, Aslan's, um, which is technically an unofficial mod pack, but it's what I use. Um, there you go. There's Mod Station, and there's Aslan's. Okay. Now, if you want the official mod pack, that works. Okay. Aslan's, the link, which is the link that Xanda posted. Um, Aslan's is the mod pack that I have been using for like, again, for like eight or nine years at this point. Um, no, it is not official. However, I have never had a day of problem with it. It's never installed malware on my machine, yada, yada, yada. I mean, the guy's been doing it forever. Okay. He's really good at it. He's got a great little Patreon. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, so one of those two, I know Aslan's has the mod you're looking for with the shell tracers that I use. I don't know what the official one has. Um, Okay, so there you go, Grant. So I, that's what I thought. Like, he's been doing it so long, I could have sworn Aslan's was, like, official. So thank you for confirming that for me. All right, we got Summers, Venezia, A European, and Mr. October specifically requested Smolland. Um, let me let me do... I'm going to do Summers. I'm going to start off in Summers. Now, Summers is not a ship that's available anymore. Okay, I believe it, Chaser. And it is also not a ship that I'm terrifically good in. It is a good ship, but it is like it is basically the American version of Shimakaze, um, which is a ship that I still occasionally struggle with, and still, in my opinion, requires your opponent to make some bad decisions to really get maximum value out of. The good news is these torpedo launchers reload significantly faster than Shimakaze, um, and they still hit pretty hard. They don't hit Japanese hard, but they they hit pretty hard. So. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play. Do I wanna play Summer? You wanna play Summers in a random? Let's play Summers in a random. I'll play I'll play Venezia and ranked, but I'm gonna play Summers in a random. Um because I think Summers has got more is gonna have a better target selection and more opportunities to be good in a random, personal opinion. So we'll take Summers out. She is basically purely American torpedo destroyer. Her guns are okay in the right situation in certain engagements. You, you're gonna fire your guns. It's just like a Shimakaze. You want to be a, you want to be late in the game. You want to have a huge health advantage. You want to be finishing off a low health target. Then her guns are perfectly good. And I agree with I agree with Zath. In my in my mind, Summers is a better Shimakaze than Shimakaze is. Okay, Chaser on the other team in a Shima, designed to make me look bad apparently. Um, one radar, two radar on the enemy team plus planes. The good news is the planes are not a huge threat to me. Which is good, because Summers cannot shoot down planes. She's one of the only American destroyers that basically has an A rating of, like, negative four. Um, that's fine, Zath. I'm okay with, I'm okay with everything you just said. I think playing the mid-cap early for me is a death sentence. Between the planes and the two radars, if I, if I try to cap B early, I'm going to get smashed. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move over to about D6, D7, right around in here. Right around in here and chuck torpedoes through these lanes and see what we can do. Our Minotaur is radar. Oh, you're offering him smoke. Okay, I got it. Yeah, about 60 seconds. I'm going to be where I want to be a little faster than... My torpedoes will load, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't spend a lot of time playing Tier 10, guys. This is unusual. You're here on a weird night, but thank you for being here. Once we see how the team deploys a little bit, they get a little more spread out. It's very common that Tier 10 teams will run for the wings. 
then I'll take the time to take my destroyer back to mid and try to cap B. But I ain't going there first. Not a chance. Do not want to turn this way. Crap, what's my aerial detection? Yeah. Okay. Luckily for me, the Parsifal either didn't notice or doesn't want a piece of me, and I can live with either one. And then we're going to give them the last rack. Can't leave my ride behind. About like so. All right. Stagger things a bit. Yeah, I know, Ice Rose. I don't really care for tier ten. I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I was, I mainly was doing the requests for. Um, ooh, Yoshino's in trouble already. Mainly doing it for um, for ranked purposes. Oh, this Holland is getting just absolutely hammered. Come on, Yoshino, chip in, buddy. You're gonna you're like one salvo that guy. That guy's dead. Like he's screwed already. I'm gonna hold here. I'm gonna throw torps across the bottom of the cap. Okay, so Harugamo and Holland trade. The smoke tells me where the Yugamo is. Yep, our, Shima, our, our, our uh, Yoshino detonated. Always a good feeling. Okay, let's go try for mid now that there's basically, I can see there's no radar, no way to spot me unless he brings the planes over. So let's try for mid. We're going to need some points. Oh, man, the Z-42 has pushed. You guys got to kill him. You guys got to kill him while you can see him. That's bold. You need to murder him. I think our Minotaur is about to die. They pushed so many ships to that side of the map, and he's broadside to, like, all of them. The kid is on 400 HP. The Marco Polo is pushing? What is happening on that flank? And who was in this cap? Oh, it's Chaser. Got such good gas mileage. You big dodo bird. Get out of my cap, Chaser. He actually outspots me by a couple hundred meters. Well, Duke, you're not wrong, are you? We'll leave a rack for them on Minnesota. I have no idea if that'll go anywhere, but my team is not playing up to their potential right here very well. What is this Marco Polo doing? Hey, what up, Chaser? Oh, why'd you fire my gun? Why'd you fire your guns that way? You know better than that. to fire on this Marco.
We are getting absolutely destroyed by this team. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want to die. I'm going to die. I'm probably going to die. Am I going to die? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! No problem. We made it. Well, I'm getting hung out to dry out here, which is not encouraging. Great. The torpedo planes are coming. Just what I needed. You twat. I'm going to feel that one in the morning. Damn, Desert Road. How am I lit? And no chicks. I'm getting absolutely left to die out here by a team that has just is just absolutely just failing on, on on every single level. If I, if I die, but I kill Chaser, I'm calling this game a win. Ah, oh, crap. I can't see him anymore. Smoke's about to expire. Come on, Smoke. Finish expiring. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Yeah! <laughs> I'm calling it a win, baby. <laughs> I'm calling it a win. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. <laughs> yeehaw! Chaser's dead! It's like a yeehaw! Jester's dead kind of moment. It's all right. This team's going to lose. Like, all they did in this game was die. A whole, whole, whole lot of death. A whole lot of dying. And not much else, really. Welcome to the party, pal! Pretty much. <laughs> Got him! Oh, not supposed to shoot at me, dude. Go away. I'm busy, Minnesota. Leave me alone. Bloody hell. Go away. You're never going to get that strike off, man. DM's turning around. I mean, the Yoshino who threw himself away didn't do anybody any favors, right? That's never a good thing. The uh, Parcival's all the way down in the corner of the map. Can't leave my ride behind. DM should pop around from behind this island over here, so let's leave him a present. Oh, he's, he's not where I thought he would be. Well, I'm dead as soon as he's gonna pop, as soon as he decides to pop his radar, so it's fine. Game's over. Oh, Chaser, you did fine. Look, by the time you you got done with that cap, my team was already long dead, right? Like well, you guys had like a five ship lead. You stalled the cap, yes, but it's more that my team accomplished absolutely nothing. They just fed themselves to you guys. It was kind of sad, truthfully.
I guess all my AA guns were destroyed or something. I mean, good luck. Ooh, you may have me. Nope, we got it. DM's gonna kill me. The question is, can I kill him? Can I get torpedoes off before I die? I did. Is it enough? Probably not, but I had to try. I wasn't hydroed, but I think I let I don't I don't think I let him quite right. It's fine. Whatever. I mean I showed up to play. Most of my battleships just died for like no reason. So yeah. Same, she, Summers has the same problem that Shimikaze has. She can't carry a game, right? She doesn't have the tools to carry a game. No, Minnesota got me because I was spotted by planes. Whether my AA is active or not is irrelevant. When the planes are two kilometers on top of me, he, I'm spotted anyway. I like Summers, but I have the same problem with her that I have with Shimikaze, right? There are times you're going to play the sh you're gonna play the ship and you're going to have games like that. You can't do anything if your team just wants to roll over and die and feed their feed their HP to the enemy without gaining anything for it. So, kind of sucks. Lino, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right, what else we got in the queue? Uh, Venezia. I'll go back to ranked and we'll try Venezia. Venezia is a boat that I like, but I'm not convinced she's a good pick for ranked. I am genuinely curious. Let's try it out. Sansonetti. Luigi Sansonetti. I'm curious. I mean, I sh I showed up and like nobody else did. Yeah, look at all these look at all these fat battleships with less than 500 XP because they just didn't bother. Like, now oh, that's irritating. Grant, that's awesome. That's a good story. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you were able to find somebody with it. Fair enough, Chaser. Fair enough. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. Um. And actually, Xanda, if you're feeling up to it, if you're feeling up to it, if you're not, let me know. But I would love to put together, uh, to get a, just get a giveaway started in the queue, just do a copy-paste to what we've been doing, and we'll run it after this game. If you're not up, up to it, let me know, and I'll take care of it, okay? All you gotta do is give me a give me a heads up. Okay, well, yeah, that works too. Okay, guys, so um, we'll run a giveaway then. Um, the, the last one did, Chaser. I had to burn a speed boost to make sure I didn't get hit by it. Oh, you closed it? Okay, perfect. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No, you're fine, Xander, you're fine. We're running after this game. Um, so guys, we'll do a giveaway here in just a minute, but but Grant brings up a really good point that I want to make sure everybody knows. When when I do a giveaway, and I give away codes, um, those codes have a limited number of times that you can cash in codes from that bank every month, right? So like CC crates, I think it's like two per two per patch cycle or whatever. And and after a while, you get to where the, the code will not work for you. When that happens, give it to a buddy. Give it to a friend, somebody else who plays. Let them cash it in. When you do that, they can they might get something out of it. What what Grant was saying is that he had a friend, he gave the code to them, and they got a Roma out of it, which is pretty awesome. Which is very, very awesome. Yep, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll do the giveaway after this game. No giveaway right now, guys. We'll do it after this game. Okay, Z52 and Haba. I probably need to follow the Z52 and be looking for possibilities to murder destroyers. Venezia wants to murder destroyers, but she's very, very not stealthy. So she needs to be doing it from range, and she needs someone else to be spotting them for her. I mean, I don't think I'm safe from you, Striker. So wherever this F-52 goes, that's where I think I'm going to go. And I'm not going to go there quickly. There are no planes, at least, so I'll have the opportunity to kind of kick back here. Backside of my detection. And just wait. Just lurk. We're going to lurk right here, looking for shots. She does. She has the opportunity to murder certain cruisers very, very well, Chaser. It depends on the cruiser engagement. Um, she really likes... Venezia really likes to fire at Russian cruisers. She loves to fire at Russian cruisers at long range. 
because her SAP will full pin the deck of a Petro or a Stalingrad or a Moskva, and you will do horrible things to them. 10, 12, 15k a salvo if you can land enough shells. And she's very accurate. Like, doing that at range is not, not unheard of. So if you're in a match with the Venezia and there's a Russian cruiser on the other team, that's a matchup you want to be trying to look for. That is correct, Andrew. They announced that tonight during the stream that the next dockyard, which will feature Wisconsin, if you already own a West Virginia 44, you will have the opportunity um, you will have the opportunity to um, get her for free because of the way they're going to work. That's all going to work. 100% agree, Chaser. Venezia's AP, I find, is overrated, is, excuse me, underrated. The AP can be very, very, very good, even against battleships, because it has so much penetration. Okay, somebody's in A. So somebody's coming. Let's get moving a little bit. Zed is not lit. Thunderer's lit. Cabo's going to mess with the Mecklenburg. Zed is now lit. There, there's the daring. I need the daring to slow down and try for his smoke because I only get one shot every 20 seconds. Or to beach himself. He's going to beach himself. I'll take that too. He's going to try to make this turn. Zed's bailing out. We'll just make some shots. I don't know what I'm going to get out of that. We're going to that's a, that's a that's just a hey, let's try it. No. Okay. It's fine. Okay. The Haru their Harugamo is in C. This guy is still in the A cap. I'm fishing. Well, Zed, you had your chance, and you sort of blew it, in my opinion. Feels a little bad right now. Let's get the turrets flopped. I'm going to go back the Zed up at closer range. Now that I know the battleships aren't going to have really good shots on me from mid, I'm, I'm content to play up in mid a little bit. Our Thunderer is coughing up, like, all of his HP. This feels pretty awful. You're going to have to get out of the smoke and spot him, my friend. Yep, I, I don't understand why our Thunderer thought it was a great idea to go broadside to half the damn team. But that's what he did. Well, boys, this is going to be a loss. This team is not interested in winning. They're barely interested in fighting. They're only interested in coughing up copious quantities of HP to the enemy team. They're very, very good at that. Now, the velocity on those will never get them there. I kept waiting for the Zed in middle to do something, but this is this is why you basically don't want to play this ship in ranked, frankly, is that it's a huge risk. You're betting it all that your team is not going to suck, and when your team sucks, you can't do anything. Should have been locked on the Rugamo, but of course I wasn't. Yeah, the Poison is throwing his ship away. I might be able to kill the Napoli here, but I can, no, I can no longer see the Napoli, so that's not very helpful. I would have been able to kill the Napoli. Yeah, these guys haven't lost a ship. My battleships are all busy throwing themselves away. So the game's over. Uh, we're never going to recover from this because team is just that bad. Hey, Napoli, what's up?
Time to put on the beer goggles. Ah, much better. Now oh, that felt pretty good. Well, let's see. The enemy team might actually cough up enough HP. We can make this worth our while here. Come on, Daring. Okay, I think I've got the Mecklenburg dead to rights if I can get those to pen. They sh they're forward enough of the bow they should pen. No, of course not. How ridiculous. 15 shells, only four hits? That makes total sense. No, I can't even see him, of course. It's fine. This is, by the way, why you don't take Venezia into this into this kind of a game, because she just she's really toothless without, without competent teammates, and in this kind of a game, you can never guarantee competent teammates, so you really don't want to be playing Venezia in this format. Just kill me. Just end it, Striker. I really don't care. I'm gonna feel that one in the morning. Like, I legit don't care. The game is long over. It would be nice to get a kill. I'll give it that. I'm gonna at least make you work for it a little bit. A daring is ballsy. Shame I'm out of range now. Yeah. When you can't get a competent team, Venezia just always feels really bad. You have to... When you pick a ship for ranked, you have to assume that every other person on your team is a drooling idiot. It's just... That's just the way it is. So, don't pick a ship that doesn't have a lot of utility. Right? When you do that, you're setting yourself up for a lot of disaster, a lot of failure. And it's unfortunate, because I like Venezia, but this is not a good format for the All ship. Right. Now, I've... I could go play it. I could go play it in randoms, and it would probably it would it would probably do something a little different. I guess I don't know that it would be better necessarily, but um, but like eighty eight percent of ranked teams are are comprised of 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 people with no idea what end point what uh, what to do with their ship. So it hurts. Chaser, some sometimes I am also a drooling idiot, right? Like I won't pretend that every game I play I'm a genius, right? But in that game, I'm going into that game knowing knowing my limitations, knowing what I want to do. And my battleships are like, excellent, let's charge the thing with 20-inch guns while broadside and then wonder why we're dead. <laughs> I can't do anything about that, right? I can't. I, I, that's not going to fix it, right? So, whatever. All right, guys, giveaway is up. Oh, I had plenty of wide-open space meat pie. And I even, had, I even had the occasional thing to shoot at. Venezia is looking... The reason you take a Venezia into a mode like that is to look for that catastrophic, devastating shot that you, one of your destroyers gets you or another a radar cruiser when they counterspot something. But again, I come back to, in a ranked setting, you have no idea what you're going to get paired with. You only get five other teammates. So Venezia is really not a good ship for the format. She just isn't. She's a good ship. She's not a good ship for ranked. Do you get more XP and rewards than randoms? Reggie, you do not. It's it's honestly, it's roughly comparable. It's uh, The opportunity for more XP is there because there's fewer ships to shoot at. Let me back that up. There's fewer people competing with you for the available health that's on the board. So if you're playing a really good ship, you're a very good shot, or you get lots of good torpedo hits, it's 
you have more possibilities of accruing damage um, for yourself than you might you might in a random battle. Okay, um, giveaways running. Make sure you come and take Wargaming's free stuff. All you have to do is type exclamation mark ticket space max in chat. That gives you the buys you the maximum number of entries that you can have um, based on the points you've earned from watching the channel. That's just how I do it. You always get your first ticket for free. Even if you've never watched the channel a day in your life, you're here for the first time, please enter the giveaway. Please try to win some of Wargaming's free stuff. It does me no good. I want to be rid of it. Striker, Venezia is fairly well armored, right? But I mean, those shells will 100% bite. Like, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I was, when I was broadside, I knew you were going to Citadel me, right? It doesn't take much to Citadel Venezia if you're a battleship. Okay, let's give that about another 20 seconds or so. 20-ish um, seconds or so on the giveaway there, Xanda, and then we'll lock that one up. All right, uh, who is this? Mr. October wants me to play Smallin. Let's have a peek. We've gone Gunbloom, Torpedo Reload, Radar Duration. Okay. I've got Crazy Speed Boosts, Torpedoes, 100 Second Reload. So I've gone... No, this is Torpedo Speed, not Torpedo Reload. Okay, so we've gone Gun Reload. So we're here to take maximum advantage of the uh, Radar is the point of this, uh, this particular build. Okay. All right. So that ought to work in a minute. What's up, Dexter? Doing okay. Doing okay. All right, guys, we're about to draw a whole, whole bunch of winners. Here's how this is going to work. If I call your name, I need you to whisper Xanda in chat. He's going to hook you up with some loot. Here we go. I got Meat Pie, uh, Boat Netter, Adeldrell, Bonsai, Philip, Taranthal, Ironlight, d -Rec, Migs, Evil, H9K, Eaten My Waffle, Me, uh, Meb, Meb. We'll go with Meb, Lemming, and Mr. Dexter. So... If I just called your name, I need you to left-click Xanda's name on Twitch chat. You need to whisper him directly, tell him what server you play on, and he's going to hit you back with a link to your loot. That's all. That's the only info we need, and we'll take care of you, okay? If we do not hear from you in a reasonable amount of time and our sole determination, we're going to redraw your loot and give it to somebody else. Please don't let that happen. Please don't let that happen. So, Merton, good question on the YouTube stream. Um, I wanted to try to get it done before we left for Europe next month. It's looking like that's not going to happen. So what I'm probably going to do is try and plan for it in early, in early May. Early May is my goal. But May is also filling up. Um, I've got at least two weekends, three weekends in May I've got to keep reserved for other events. So... It's 100% going to happen. I've, like I said, don't worry about it. It's going to happen. I just don't know when. I've got so much going on right now. Uh, extracurricular activity-wise, it's a bit of a challenge. Yeah, Xanda posted up above, Waffle. And look look above. You'll see a highlighted moderator box. Um, let's do this. You need to, you need to whisper. Um, how do I do this? It's um, announce, announce. There we go. Um, Xanda, you can use slash announce before you type in chat, and it will give you that little box around it, that little that little announcement-looking thing, right? Just like the bots get. Oh, that reminds me. I need to come over and do something real fast. Custom bot name. Yes, please. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go play. Let's go play Smallland for Mister October. This one we are going to take into ranked. So we're actually going in April, um, Wild. But my point is, I'm going to be gone at least. We're going to be gone at least two weeks, and then the weekends before and after that tend to fill up with other things. I got to look at it, right? There's the possibility of the weekend right after we get back, I might be able to do it. It's possible. I need to decide before I leave. I need to sit down and look at a calendar and say, this is it. This when it's ha this is when it's happening. But I haven't figured that out yet. All right, this is rough. This is really rough matchmaking for me. Now, I did get Striker on my team, which is nice. But the two opposing destroyers are a ship that literally doesn't care if it gets radared and will murder me in a gunfight. And a ship that also has radar, but also gets smoked to go with his fancy radar. 
in the Gdansk, so I don't like either one of these things. Um, the struggle for me is that the Elbing cannot cap C. I feel like if I don't contest C, I am going to be in trouble. But if I do contest C, I'm asking to get murdered. I genuinely don't know how to play this. Um... Yeah, Elbing should go to A. That's his better play. I gotta, man, what am I gonna do? We got a Stalingrad and a Napoli. So we got, we've got all the radar. They got all the radar. Welcome. Man, this is gonna suck. Adrianito, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. No, Flaming, we're not going anywhere that where there are going to be museum boats for this particular trip. At some point in the in the future, we are gonna go to Poland and I'm gonna go see Bliss. But um, we are not going to Poland on this particular trip. Well, you are welcome. Really do not want to be in this cap. I really do not want to be in this cap. I really do not want to be in this cap. I'm gonna swing wide. I'm gonna swing. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna play the ten line and spot a bit until we know more about their radar and DD positions. If I go in that cap, I will probably never get out. Which battle am I in? This is a ranked battle, Bay, if that's what you're asking. So the Gdansk has chosen his little island hideaway. Okay, Marceau's in B. Okay, I need to swing wide. I need to get wide so I can see what I'm doing. Napoli is bold, ladies and gentlemen. Napoli is super bold. That was a that was a Stalin radar. That was a Stalin radar. Okay. You're going to cap it, but you aren't going to hold it very long. i got to really hope there's no... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I'm in... Yeah. Well, boys, good luck, I suppose. I'm about to get boosted in sap to hell, so y'all better do something. Lucky for me, I get a heal. This is dumb, and I'm doing it anyway because I sort of don't care. Petro is getting absolutely hammered, and I love all of it. Hilariously, my gun bloom is so small, the Austin can't spot me out here. I was getting all that shots for free. That's actually not. That's actually a pretty good gig for me, honestly. I kind of like it. All right, we got a fire on the Petro. That's what we were looking for, and Petro's dead. I love everything that just happened. Gdansk had to back out. All right, looks like we're going to be able to own this cap. Their radar is dead. That's really, really good for me. That gives me the opportunity to not get murdered by the Austin again, let's hope. Um, how do I play this now? I think I play defense. I think I want to cut across the map and defend A on the assumption that the Marceau or the Gdansk is going to come back and screw with me over there. Let's try it. 
Taranthal, Mr. Dexter, we need you to whisper Xanda to claim your loot, or we're going to give it to somebody else. Don't let that happen. The Gdansk is still coming this way, but I've also got a Kerfurst with me. Curious. I still have no, no idea how this Gdansk is lit. Is he firing? Okay, good. The Austin is, a, is backed off. I can push a little bit. I'm betting the Marceau is going to A. Yep, I knew that was coming. That's not shocking at all. Die, you son of a bitch. A Marceau is not that damaged. I probably cannot beat that guy in a gunfight with my current consumables. So here's what we're going to do. I want to know where the Austin is going. What's my surface detection? Six flat. No, six, six, one. Okay. I need to back off of this Austin. Go get him, Kerr first. Yeah, the Marceau is going to be a problem over there. I have to hope the Elbing knows what he's doing. Yep. Okay, Kerr first knows what he's doing. I like that. Let's go see if we can suss out this Gdansk. Oh, man. Elbing is... Elbing is beating the Marceau, that spa cruiser. I love it. I love everything that's happening right there. Okay, let's go run this Gdansk down. Yep, I did Xander. It happens. The Marceau can't win that gunfight because the Elbing's armor actually shrugs off his little five-inch shells. That makes me laugh a little bit. Oh, I'm still firing the AP. Anybody know what Gdansk is sur Gdansk surface spotting is? I can't remember. that Johnny with the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Am I close enough to spot this guy? It's possible. Nope, I'm just out. He's just ahead of me. Ooh, Elbing got beat up. Whose stats, though? Gucci, Gucci. Yeah, friggin' Elbing lost. Bloody hell, that's irritating. Alright, I'm gonna cut across this Yammy's bow and try to go Cat B on the assumption that they can kill the Yammy. Fingers crossed, I guess. I'm gonna pitch in here with my guns. I just gotta get to where I can. There we go. Taste the rainbow, boys. Taste the rainbow. Damn, I love this job. 
All right, let's get back to B. Maybe we'll be able to murder this Marceau. I'm going to try to murder their Marceau. I don't think I'm going to have much success, but I'm going to give it a shot. He's. I actually have a health advantage now, so it's very possible I can pull this off. We'll see how this goes. Yep, Combat Scout. I had to get enough damage in to get for the Combat Scout. No worries, Johnny. Welcome in. Staffordshire. Justin, goodness gracious. You're, it, you're, it's late where you are, my friend. Tier 9 premium is best for... Oh, stupid bugs. Best for farming credits. How can you... How is it... Oh. The Gdansk has got him lit. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Look at the Napoli. He's like, screw you. I'm in smoke now. Yeah, the Gdansk peeled away because he knows my radar's waiting on him if he closes up too close. Stalin is not out of radar, so we could get a Stalin radar if we wanted. There we go. There's the Stalin radar. And then Gdansk is like, screw it, might as well shoot. There we go. Bam. Yeah, whatever. Good evening, Taz. How you doing? Welcome in, my friend. Long time. How you been? How you been? Not a great damage total. Like, frankly, a really, really bad damage total. But with that team lineup on that map, for me to live, I feel very happy that I didn't die. <laughs> That is a re that is arguably one of the worst map maps you can get to play small and because it just it takes all of the advantages of the ship and just like laughs at you like well all those advantages kind of suck so good luck like it's rough um that is correct chaser I have 120 millimeter guns 120 millimeter guns on a 1.4 second reload. Um, Striker, it absolutely helped. It made a huge difference. Um, so the Petro Blue is radar. I took a decent, I took a decent chunk of damage from the Austin. Um, it was, I don't know, five, six K. I was able to heal back some of it. Well, maybe more like eight K and then I healed back about two or three of it. Right. And then the Austin had to F off because we had killed the Petro. You guys killed the Petro. Um, you knowing where to shoot on the Petro made a big difference too, in my opinion. But Petro died, and then it was like, oh, great. With their radar down, now all I have to do is not be dumb and wander into somebody's hydro, and I can probably manage this. Because the Gdansk radar is a threat, but it's very, very short. Gdansk's radar is only, like, what, 15 seconds? So it's not it's not amazing. I don't think I did Comp Striker. I should do that. Um, so the Austin made a couple of mistakes. He kind of hung out while the while the, the, the Kerfers pushed down the flank with me, which he also gets one of these as well. Um, for sure. So, oh, of course you can, Striker. Of course you can. Vamp Deuce. Justin, we played Vamp on Monday, but I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Napoli, any battleship. Any Tier 10 battleship. Oh, man. You don't want me playing Tier 10 battleship. You probably don't want me playing Tier 10 battleship. Um, I'll tell you what. Justin, since we're here doing Destroyers, I'm going to play Vamp Deuce again. Vamp Deuce is a much stronger cap contester than, than Smallland is. And a, a, and a wider variety of cap configurations. I have to make sure I clarify my statement correctly. Um, we're done. Gun reload, smoke. Yeah, yeah. I had a really good game in Vampire Deuce on Monday night. I think I had like 100 and, 130, 140,000 damage. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna, you're going to make me go look now. I was actually quite proud of it. For not having played the ship in a while, I was pretty happy with that game. I was like, wow, that came out nice. Um, let's see. I'm going to go this way. 
Where's that vampire game from the other night? There it is. 142,000 damage in a Vamp Deuce. And it was a game that our our carrier basically, literally, LOL, no pun intended, carried us, right? Um, but he, um, our carrier was um, an excellent Essex player who did an amazing amount of spotting. And I was able to sit and farm one of the battleships till he finally died, and so it was great. I am playing ranked, Bay. At the moment, I'm playing ranked. We're going to try Vampire Deuce in ranked. Oh, that's a lot of cruisers. Okay, good. Whenever I see the many cruisers, I get nervous. Like, oh, they're all gonna be radar cruisers. Yeah, it was a ranked. It was a ranked game, flaming. No, wait, was it? It wasn't. A, it wasn't a ran, It wasn't a ranked game. It was a random game. I played Vampire Deuce in randoms. My apologies. And then I'll. Uh, so tonight we'll try it in ranked. We'll give it a go in ranked and see 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 how see how she does. She ought to be fine, honestly. I mean, this is an ex. This boat is an excellent cap contender. Um. Like you put this boat on hotspot, it's going to handle the cap contest much easier than Smallland because of the way the cap configuration works. Um, I like lots of battleships and fewer cruisers. I want to see few cruisers because cruisers means radar, and radar means vampire. Ra radar really hides vampire dudes. Which one I prefer, vamp dudes or daring? Probably daring because of the heal. Probably daring because of the heal. But there's nothing wrong with vampire. Striker on my team again. Loving the sink drops. We got a Marceau and a Yang and a DM. So I've got at least one radar, probably two. Now, Tears of the Desert, this will be an interesting. This will be interesting to me. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm not I'm going to A. Um Hydro Smoke going to A to contest. Um what I'm likely to do is play near A, but not in A to start with until I have a clear picture of where the Des Moines is. Because the Des Moines, if the Des Moines is clever, the Des Moines will go to A. 100% go to A. And our lack of radar is really going to hurt us here. Omen, I appreciate that. So this is a bit of an off night for me. Ordinarily, like Xanda says... We do Thursday evening boats usually around this same time. On Thursday nights is my typical night. I have a prior engagement tomorrow evening, so I moved it up an evening. Um, the other night that I'm regularly on is Monday nights, um, which is, um, <laughs> he means just U.S. Central time, which is right now I think is UTC minus six, minus five. Might be minus five. I'd have to look it up. Something along those lines. Anyways, um... Yeah, the Marceau being here is... This could be dicey. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, Omen. So I think I'm six hours behind you. So it'll most for you, it will be an early um, an early morning... Or very early morning uh, start, right? Like just after midnight your time on Friday mornings, early, early Friday mornings and early, early Tuesday mornings are my regular stream times for you. Occasionally, I stream on the weekends. When I do that, I try to pick a time that's a little more European-friendly like mid-afternoon here in the States, which would be like a Saturday or a Sunday evening for you guys. But it doesn't uh, it doesn't always happen that way. All right, I'm not going into this cap. I'm RPF, so they know I'm here. We're going to pop a speed boost. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put my Hydro up. I get single? I get single fires. Whoa, 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 why are you turning? Who told you to turn? Actually, the Yang can't hit me, and the Marceau is not likely to get torpedoes on me without me spotting him, so. There's my Kerr first. Do I touch this cap? I'm not going to. No. I'm not opening fire until I have an idea where the Des Moines is. This Marceau needs to learn how to fight better. He's not getting any hits here. Okay, we're going to keep swinging wide. Keep swinging wide. Yeah, this Marceau landed like two shells. All of that, he landed like two shells. Like, what in the hell here?
Okay, we're gonna make the loop to, to starboard and then I'm gonna go into the cap. If the DM was here, I'd have seen him by now. I don't know where he went. He ought to be here, but he's not. So I am not going to complain about him not being here if he is in fact not here. It seems like he's not here. So, Bayship, um, basically, in, when you start in Bronze League... Oh, the Des Moines is out of position. I love everything that just happened. Okay. the the When you start in Bronze League, you're in Tier 8. When you get to the promotion oh, set of Bronze League, you move up to Tier 10 in Super Ships. And then in Silver and Gold, it's all Tier 10. So that's where I am. I'm in Silver League. I made Silver League my very first game of the stream this evening. So I'm RPF. The Marceau has RPF, hilariously. I do not know why the Des Moines has chosen that position, but I'm not going to complain. I'm simply going to laugh and giggle. Now, I will say that it's starting to feel like the Yu Yang is in mid somewhere. And I think if I'm really bold, I might go after him. Shiki's trying to turn in. These should be 10 kilometer torps. 12 perfect. Perfect. Let's get them loaded. Welcome. Alright, let's get out of here. To Jurassic Park. Who was that? Timmy! Timmy! Oh, Napoli, you're getting murdered. Would you please not get murdered? You make me sad. Okay, I'm RPF'd. Now, the Des Moines is not close to me. Yeah, he's like 20 clicks out. 15, whatever. But if the Yang is in mid... Yeah, that's what we're going to go find out. You want fries with that? I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with one at least. No, the Yang is way north. Yang is out here somewhere. Striker, that Yang is behind you somewhere. So stay frosty. I'm gonna come find him. I'm looking at the angle on these torps. Yeah, they came from way north of our sea cap. C is going to fall. We are going to lose C. Guaranteed 100% going to happen. I'm working on it. I'm trying, buddy. What do you want from me? Let's go. Curfers is turning into mid. I'm not going to have those shots. Des Moines is derping around in the islands over here somewhere. All right. They finally killed the in. They finally killed the Shiki. You're turning back. You're not helpful. Where is this guy? How have I not found him yet? Okay, he's picked me up on RPF again, so he knows I'm here. Which means he's probably... Yep, got you, you little bastard. Hope you got radar. If you don't have radar, you're a dead man. Yeah, you're dead. You died anyway. Fellas, y'all got to do better than that next time. Oh, Striker. Come on. You knew that Kerfurst was there. What are you doing? Yikes. Oh, this is a winnable game. You guys should have just turned and driven right at him. I guess the Kerfurst probably meant you couldn't.
He could be in he could be in bronze promotions. If he's in bronze promotions, you play in Silver League. For better or for worse, that's how it that's how it functions. Hold on a minute. I want to do Oh, I'm not going to be able to get these torpedoes in. Actually, I'm going to try it cuz he's going to have to turn. That should slow him down a little bit. Oh, and it got such good guess. Okay, we know where the DM is now. Yeah, this is a loss. Things started out fairly well. I have no idea what our incomparable is doing. Hey, look, the Des Moines here. I'm dead. I've been wondering where that guy was. That's all right. Game's over anyway. We lose. Go us. Yay and stuff. Just murder me. It's over. Not wasting any more time with this. Yeah, I know. The the incomparable went like stupid to the A1 line while the rest of the team got steamrolled. The posi he just took the worst possible position. I legit don't understand why he bothered. Like, I get what you're doing. You're an incom, you're stealthy, but it became very clear they were pushing on the C flank and we needed help over there. You being an A1 means that you can't do anything. You are stuck and you're screwed. So yeah, that's 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 rough. Wild well, headed out, awesome. Yeah, Justin, I hit ten thousand not too terribly long ago. Not terribly long ago. I mean, I'm with you. I like to think so. Here's the thing. Okay, let's we we could talk about YouTube subscribers if you want for a minute. Okay, here's the thing with YouTube. The only way that the algorithm on YouTube picks you up and pushes your stuff in front of other people is if you post clickbait titles, um, and you literally are f and 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 you pick you pick um like rage topics, right? Most of the big war most of the big warships YouTubers intentionally post inflammatory video titles, um, clickbait titles, and all this sort of thing. And there's I'm not blaming them. They're playing the game, okay? They are doing the YouTube thing. Well, I just... I, I, I can't, right? Felipe, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I can't. I can't. I. It feels so cheap and disingenuous to me. I can't do it. Um, I would rather continue to be small whatever, who I am and be myself rather than than be Mr. Clickbait, right? I mean, maybe Migs. Well, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Flaming. M my thing is this, right? I, I, for years, I've subscribed to a little service. It, it costs me nothing. It's called vidIQ. Uh, year, a long time ago, Volgar the Viking, if you remember him, he used to stream the game. He put me onto it. He's like, you need to check this out. Is it stifling my growth? I'll get back to your question in a minute, Evil. Um, and what they do is as you, you know, when you go to post a video, it's a little, it's a little Chrome add-on, basically, that it rates your, okay, I'm going to get this wrong. There's a term that YouTube uses. It's SEO, social engagement something, social engagement something or other, okay? Um, and it looks at the video title, the thumbnail, um, the tags, the, the, the tags you've added to the video, how, you know, have you filled in all the data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, and for, that actually does help like the ability to go in and see that, okay, I'm, I'm making an effort to get over a threshold where the algorithms will pick me up and put my content in front of people is a thing. Um, optimiz what is it? Search engine optimization, search engine optimization. That's what it is. Okay. That's it. Correct. That's correct. Gone. Correct. Um, and so, but in order to play the game, the SEO game, you want to be coming up with crazy clickbaity titles and ridiculous looking thumbnails, you know, like that's the game that YouTube, that's the game that YouTube wants you to play. And that's how you get big on YouTube. Even though I know this, it, I struggle hard with doing it. I don't. You know, one of the things, one of the things that, well, thank you. Thank you, Grease. I appreciate that. One of the things that I try to do is I would rather 
uh, is is quality over over like engage like quality over clickbait. Maybe that should be my title. Maybe that should be the subtitle of my channel. Quality over clickbait. I'm writing that down. That's actually clever. Um, but I've legitimately wondered if I should play the click the clickbait games. I've never done it, but I've frequently it's a it's a constant war that I have with myself. Like, should I do it for a month just to see what happens? Just to see if it makes a difference. You know, when I post one of my I I I I got here's the thing. Quality bait. Quality bait. No, no, no. Um, I'm writing this down. Hold on a minute. I have I got a, a crisp five dollar bill that says, you know, I do my little um my little monthly, um, well, they're not monthly. I haven't done one in a while. But I do my little quarterly review videos, right? It's, you know, simple first quarter. But I'll bet you if I put a subtitle on every one of those that says, Wargaming is killing warships. Warships in massive trouble, right? When I talk about server populations. I got, oh, I see what you did there, Wixitron. I'll allow that comment through. Hold on. I'll allow that. 100%. I, got, I, got, I have a crisp $5 bill in my wallet that says I would get I would get four times as many views on that video as just a regular quarterly review video. I can almost guarantee it. I might try it just to demonstrate how stupid it is. But that's how that's the game you have to play with YouTube. Now, for somebody like me, I look at it in the sense of I should be relying on... I, I've always taken the attitude of I should rely on quality of product and word of mouth, Right? People are like, hey, have you seen this guy's stuff? He's really good. And like that sort of thing. But now I'm, what, I'm six, seven years into this, and it's clear that that does not get you very far in modern YouTube, which is sad, but it's true. So it's it's a constant war that I have with myself, right? Like, how do I how do I do this? I, I Raz, I know that. And it and my God, it pisses me, it pisses me off so hard, Raz. It really does. I legit don't want to do it. Um, so like, it just, oh, it hurts so bad, but I, I, but I, I know, right flaming, but I genuinely think why, <laughs> but I really do think I might try it once or twice because I think it would be fun. Well, Merton, I have noticed, and I appreciate that. And, and one of the other things that I have been in, making an effort to do, one of the things about video game channels, let me, let me back this up a minute. When, if when you make YouTube content, let's look at a guy. Let's look at a guy like the Operations Room. Who in who in chat, YouTube or on on Twitch, is familiar with the Operations Room, that particular YouTube channel? Anybody? Show of hands. Show of hands. A simple yes in chat, right? If you're if you're a, if you're a military historian, chances are you really look how many people have not heard of this guy. Okay, we're gonna pimp out. Okay, here we go, guys. Hold on a minute. I'm going to pimp out one of the best channels on YouTube that you've probably never heard of. Or that you might not have ever heard of. Hold on, I'm going to pull it up. Hold on a minute. I'm going to get... I'm going to get this button. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to paste this into both chats. If you have never subbed or been to the operations room on YouTube and you, are a, you consider yourself a military history enjoyer, you are doing yourself a disservice. You need to... You need to like and follow him and hang out and watch his stuff, okay? Now, this is a guy who does not do clickbait. He is a simple military historian channel. And his videos are the Battle of Midway, day one summarized. Like something like that. It's just, this is what the video is. And he has millions of subs. His videos get millions of views. He is top notch. I look at somebody like that as like, that's where I would love to be, right? Somebody who's good enough at what they do that you don't need the doofy clickbait titles. Here's the trick. What I've, what I've noticed, Drakenfell, another one, 100% chaser. Here's what I've noticed. In the video game space, when you're making video game content for YouTube or gaming content for YouTube, because gaming is a constant cycle of perpetual... This is today's new thing. Today's new thing is gone. Here's today's new thing. Today's new thing is gone. Sorry. 
You guys probably heard that. Apologies for hitting the mic. But like, it's a constant churn. For making video game content, like you need that constant, that constant engagement, that constant clickbait title. Every day, every day, every day, a new clickbait title, a new clickbait title, a new clickbait title. One of the reasons I have been explicitly trying to get away, that's not true, to get into doing more videos that are not like, oh, this video was relevant for this patch of warships, but in three months time, this video is not relevant is because I'm trying to build the YouTube channel into something that is that is becoming more of a of a learning resource, let's say. Um, the learn to play videos are like the foundation of that. But I want to do more, right? I'm starting to do stuff with Star Wars Unlimited. I want to do more there. We're going to do board game. The board gaming stuff is going to be pure entertainment. Um, I'll be honest. It's going to be just entertainment. It's going to be a bunch of nerds sitting around playing board games, and we're going to cut that into some entertaining episodes. Like, that's the goal. But I look at those con that kind of content as the future of my YouTube channel because I ref I explicitly, flatly refuse to play the stupid clickbait games that, that suck people in. Flaming, I appreciate that. I really do. But I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, you know... We, let's say you're when you, if you're you're new to World of Warships, I get some of the best compliments I get, and thank you for all of you guys who, who who leave me comments on the videos. But some of the best compliments I get are when people come into those learn to play videos, and they're like, "This video was a tremendous help. Thank you very much." That's one of the best. That's to me that is like even no matter how old it is, some of those videos are two years old now. When somebody comes in, is like, "This was a big help. Thank you." I'm like, mission accomplished, right? I love that. That's what that's what keeps me going. What I love at that, what I would love at that point is for people to share that link. Hey. If you're having trouble with this ship, this is a good this is a good resource. That's how that's how things start to build in my mind. So yeah. Oh, Raz, you're right. I don't know. I don't know. Reggie, I think it does. I absolutely think it would. And that's one of the reasons that I haven't done it. Um I still think I will say this. Um, sometime in April, probably I'm probably gonna try and record it before we leave, but it'll probably premiere while we're out of the country. I'm going to do another channel update. I mean, I'm, I feel like I've, it's been long enough. I need to do just a general channel update over on YouTube. And we'll talk about the monthly giveaway. I'll have the date set by then and everything. But I'm going to talk about this. And I'm going to tell people, look, you're going to see me do this. And I want you to understand what's happening. Because I've never done it. And it's going to look out of character. But I want you to watch what happens. I, 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 like I said, I have a crisp $5 bill that I will put on the table. That if I, if I go second quarter 2023, you know, Massive population drop in World of Warships, or something ridiculous, right? Something sensational. I can almost guarantee you, I'll get, I'll get five to six times much as engagement as I would without it. No, 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 flaming. No, 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 not at all, not at all. All right, enough jibber jabber. You guys aren't here to listen to me talk. Um, I agree with you, Reggie. I agree. And well, you say waste. I don't disagree. If you're doing it for, a, I, I, I don't necessarily agree. If you're doing it for a living. If you have to get up every day, look at somebody like 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 Jingles, right? Jingles' job, job, get up every day, make some content. Or, you know, make some content for tomorrow. But like, and he's got a pretty good gig. He's built a great loyal following. He's an awesome human. He gives you his unvarnished opinion regardless of the publisher or the title or the subject. And people appreciate that. They respond to him for it, right? I, I love his channel for so many different reasons. But one of the reasons that he is where he is is because he's been here so long. People trying to trying to break into this space now that that it's it's so much more populated. It's much more challenging. It's much more difficult. Okay, let's get on. Let's get back to some games. I've I've jibber jabbed enough. I'm gonna take this battleship game that Mr. Dexter asked for. I have to figure out what tier ten battleship to play. This is gonna be rough. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards Conqueror. I'm kind of leaning towards. Oh, should I play Rhode Island? Oh, guys. 100% Chaser. 100%. I think I should play Rhode Island. I don't have a St. Vincent yet. Or do I have a St. Vincent? I think I finally bought a St. Vincent. No, I don't have a St. Vincent yet. Um, I'm still stuck on whatever the 9 is. I can't remember the 9. You think so, Evil? This ship has radar. Like, that seems pretty awesome. Screw you. I'm at ranked Duncan. I'm still on Duncan. I'm trying. I'm trying Rhode Island. That's my battleship pick for Mr. Mr. Dexter. That's my battleship pick. If it's crap, it's crap. We're going to find out the hard way. Rhode Island is the better Florida. 
Tactical, I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's very kind. I will, I will never be the best Warships player. I always tell people, look, I am above average. If you want to look higher skill, there are plenty of other people on Twitch and YouTube that have more skill than I do. Guys like Potato Quality um, and um, and like Maltese, right? Well, they are they are legit better players than I am, right? They have thousands more games. They have way more competitive under their belt, right? They're better players than I am. I'm not ashamed of that, right? It's fine. If, if that's what you're looking for, those guys are really good at what they do. Twisted, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You're welcome, Omen. Okay, here we go. I am the only battleship well, in this game. So, life feels bad against a submarine, a gearing, and a Marceau, and a Smolensk, and a Moskva. Man, I was going to blow. All right, we're going to load the HE for a bit. I'm tempted to let the Stalin go anchor the sea cap. My fear is that I'm going to end up caught with the, 20, uh, the 4501 with no help. I'm going to wait about five or ten seconds here. Let's get it on. Yep. Let me load the, let me actually let me load the AP in case I can catch the Smolensk. What are we doing? God bless it. I'm gonna play the 8-9 line, but I really think this is a bad idea. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna play the islands just because it's gonna confound the sub for a little while and try not to get dead. I know, it's good advice, right? Try not to die. Both teams have a Smolensk. Both teams have a Smolensk. Both battleships are a little soft. That Schlieffen is also pretty soft. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I know, right? I I shared that clip earlier, by the way. Ravage Ravage dug it up for me. I mean, I I had downloaded the original version a while back, but he went and found the actual link for it. Owen, thank you. Go get some sleep. Appreciate you being here. Ah, Chris Santos. They told me you were stateside. They told me you were stateside. I'm a little bummed. I wish I'd been able to come up to Austin to say hello. Bad timing, old boy. <laughs> Putin, is that your Twitch husband? You boys, you boys are Twitch spouses now. Is that how it works? Well, Nathan, I appreciate that. And I'll be honest. I'll be honest. There, there are plenty of games that I get torqued that I complain a lot to. So I, I will not profess that I am never salty. That is a lie. If you watch this channel, you know that's BS. I'm 100% salty sometimes. Okay, we found the 4501. There's the Marso. Okay. Striker, get out of there. I'm coming. They're all going to that cap for some reason, so I'm going to cut through mid. Oh, the Schlieffen. What is he doing? He turned around and I lost sight of him, damn it. Just back off, Striker. Hold the cap. Smolensk is going to have shelter for me soon. There's the Schlieffen. I really think I should be looking for the shot on this Moskva. No, he's going to be out of range. I should take the Schlieffen shot while I can get it. Still make the hall of fame. Yep, Gearing's trying to smoke out in mid. 4501 is right there. Eh, only 6k. Great, our Stalin got murdered. Nicely done. Oh, hi, Smolensk. By all means. Ah, I can't see him anymore. Should have shot the Moskva right there, but whatever. Okay, hold on. Now I can spot him. This team. 
Why is our Smolensk running away? Yeah, this game is probably already over. I'm going to try and help, Striker, but it's going to be dicey. Now, this is, a force to be with. is he slowing down? He's slowing down. Ooh, ooh, come on, shells. Come on, shells. Uh, well, it was only 2K, but every little bit helps, I guess. Can I see the sub? I can't even see the bloody sub. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't help me much. There. See, he's not where you thought he was. Yeah, this is a huge problem. Oh, for God's sake. What a complete waste of a game this was. Much better. Team is yeah. so suicidal. Yeah. Literally. What in the hell? All you had to do was not die and you can't manage it? Come on, guys. I can't even kill the Smolens because everything that could spot him is dead. Everything on my team I needed to spot the Smolens died in seconds. What a complete waste of time. Yes, the sub took a torpedo. Give me a break. What a complete waste of my time. <sighs> Could we please get teams that have brains? That would be amazing. Instead, I would love to get fewer drooling idiots. My sub is screaming at me, airstrike the sub. I would love to. You haven't spotted him, and then you're busy getting torpedoed, so I can't help you. Yes, that's exactly right. Remember we saying at the start of the game I could get salty? There you go. <laughs> 404 team not found. Mm. Dexter, it's not your fault. I keep getting on teams that take the game off. That's not something you get you get to say in. <laughs> Zath, let me tell you, there'll be plenty of salt and silver for a while. This is probably the last night I'm going to play ranked for a little while because I'm going to let the silver teams get a little better, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Striker, you did fine. It started with our Stalingrad not radaring early enough to get to save his own life. Um... And then it got worse because our submarine, uh, let's see, no, one of the destroyers died, and then the submarine died. It was like, what are you guys doing over there? I mean, Zath, we literally did, yeah, like, we just did that on Monday night. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. That game, that game on Monday night was hilariously funny. We have too many ships going to be. That's the real Quincy or a cheap imitation. 
Mac, premium ships are not always better than tech tree ships. I could give you a list of premium ships that are legitimately terrible. <laughs> so just because a ship is premium, don't assume it's awesome. That is that is a trap. That is 100% a trap. But as, as chat points out, they do make more money. So generally a premium ship gets a bonus to their credit earnings. Now, if memory serves, this thing will hit 40 knots or so as I go, as I zoom across the map here. Let's get the rudder centered up. Get her on a line, and we'll get her up on a plane, and we'll get her up on plane, and we'll find out. Here we go. Is it 38? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna hit 40. I don't think. Well, maybe I am. Still accelerating. Okay. Yeah, we are gonna hit 40. Love it. I know we ran this test before, but I forget the actual number. I feel like Jeremy, I feel like, um, what's the guy from, what's the guy from, um, what's the guy from, uh, Top, uh, top Gear? Clarkson. Oh, speed! <laughs> 43.1 knots! <laughs> Come here, you gotta get out of there, buddy. You're gonna get dead. Yeah, I don't recognize it either, Zath. That's why I was like, is this the real thing or not? I have to wonder. Nice. Hello, Montana. Rhode Island exerts her dominance. Elbing is on the A, the one line. That's odd to say it lightly. I'm not sure what the AP is going to get me here, but I'm going to fire it anyway. Just as soon as we clear the island. Let's see what I can get out of that cell, though. I genuinely don't know. I mean, 9k? I can't really kvetch too loud about that. See if we can't get a fire on the Ohio. Because he's in front of this island over here. Do, 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 do. Hi, DM. Hi, DM. And it got such good gas mileage. Broadside of the Yammy. That's bold. Now he's turning. Ohio has pulled the handbrake and popped a heel. Well, they're probably going to be able to pick up this cap. Question is, can they do anything with it? All right. R4501 claims a battleship. I love everything that just happened. Hold on a moment. Hi, Elbing. Feel like this DM is screwed if I can get my guns to reload. Oh, 41 HP. This guy's boned. Goodbye. 
I didn't even get a Pitadel. Didn't even get a Pitadel at the end. Very sad. All right, we've got a two ship lead now. I think we're going to be okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, murder the Elbing. Thank you. I'm just getting warmed up. Let's get our speed boost cooking again. Ohio's guns aren't even looking. And I'm out of his detection. Trying to spread the fire around with the Kleber here. Let's see if we can get about three or four of these lit on the Ohio here. There we go. I got one. Okay, he had the DCP. Excellent. You finished DCPing. You're reversing? That's hilarious. You're so hilarious. All right, we're going to speed up now. We're going to speed boost in. Let's get let's get into this fight. Once I get a better angle on him, I'll swap to the AP, but not right now. Oh, he turned his engines on. No, he didn't. He's just chilling. He's literally sitting still. Cannot seem to get a fire. Very irritating. Now he's turning his engines on. I'm going to swap to the AP after this next salvo. Still can't get a fire. All right, now we're starting to get into good brawling range here. We're about 12 clicks out. We've got a decent angle. Let's see if I can get these shells to bite. Survey says... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those bit in all right. Yeah, your secondaries don't frighten me, old man. I think the Marceau's got him right here. No, he drove through it. No, he took one. He's healing through it right now. Let's kill him. I need you to die. Oh, the Yoshino stole it. Firing angle does make a difference for AP, Reggie. If you're trying to get this, if you're trying to get AP shells to fuse properly and detonate inside the hull, angle absolutely matters. If you fire them at too steep an angle, they will bounce. They will ricochet and go somewhere you don't want them to do. Don't want them to go. Yes, Rhode Island is good and when when your team shows up to play and you you are also not part of the problem and I'd say previous game I was probably part of the problem so there we go. Solid. I like it. Nice pick. All right, Napoli. Let's give Napoli a try. This is a boat that I don't I understand why she's good, but she and I are not best of friends. Let's check that. Do I have this thing built for secondaries? Doesn't you can put the secondary module in here, can't you? Yeah. Hmm. I want that or aiming. Do I want secondary? No, you can't build. There's not a secondary. Oh, yeah, there is. Ooh. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. That feels like a pretty good. I have not played this boat since they redid the, the commander tree skills to allow for this. All right, so what is my secondary range right now? 9.2. And I can get it out to probably, probably 11 and change, I'm betting. Yeah, that's kind of what that's kind of what I'm thinking, Wix. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It means I need to readjust here, which means I take this heavy AP and move it over. Hold on a minute. One, four, three, two, three, five, one, five. Okay, so let's try this. Yep. One, four, three, two, three, five, one, one, five. There we go. Let's try that. Now my torpedoes now hit. Eh, that's nice. It's not a bad hit at all. Now what's my secondary range? 11 even, 11 flat. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, Sansonetti? I should be using Sansonetti, huh? Let's uh, let's grab him. Where is my Sansonetti? He's over here. Now, it's, this guy is spec for Venezia, so... Eh. I mean... Eh. I don't know. What does he do? Main battery range goes up. Main battery reload goes up. 
100 times with main battery shells. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not sure you need Santinetti for this. I'm gonna just I'm gonna stick with the guy that I had just that I just finished specking out. Where did he run off to? You come back here. I'm good with this. This is fine. Are they are they machine? That'll be interesting. All right, uh, Napoli. I think let me give a quick check of flags. This all seems fairly legit. Yep, yep. This is all fine. Yeah, because I can't. Yeah, okay. Fine, fine. Yeah, let's do it. Napoli. Ranked. Um, I didn't have a Ram flag. I'm not sure what I would give up for it. I guess I give the flooding flag for Ram. Sure, why not? Screw it. That's good enough. We'll try it. This is not a boat I've played in a long time. I am very, very out of practice. Is there a U.S. ship that's good with a secondary build? There are quite a few. Um, Massachusetts is the obvious easy answer. Um, you could also try um, Ohio and Georgia. Would be decent. Um, I would probably also look into... Um, I feel like there's one more. Snow, I don't know, man. I see that too. Hang on a minute. This thing is not updating. You guys are... I'm seeing it, but you guys aren't. There we go. I don't know, man. I, I see the same thing. I, I don't know why people uh, trash talk while winning, but it happens all the time. Okay. Zhao, another Napoli, and a Shima. Me and a Salem. Okay. I'm going to keep the AP loaded. I'm fairly stealthy. If I can if I can catch somebody sm uh, snapping, uh, napping, I can do good things here. Brutally honest, Snow, whenever I see anybody trash talk in chat while crushing the enemy team, I, I will immediately report them for being a jerk. Yes, it is meaningless, but I feel a little better about my day. I know it, I know it legitimately does nothing, but I feel better. My secondary range is longer than my spotting range. That's hilariously funny on this ship. Yeah, Night Owl, that's what's frustrating to me is for some reason my little app is not picking it up. Um, let me... I refreshed the page. That ought to help a little bit. Give me a minute. I'm not sure why. Earlier, I get really irritated. I check all this stuff before the stream starts. And then part, there it is. So now it'll work. And partway through the stream, it'll just like randomly quit working. It's like, oh, thanks. It's not, Zand. I don't know why. There we go. Now it is. Now it's coming through. I'll push up to three quarters now. Somebody's in C. That Salem has taken a very, very, very bold position. Whoa, 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 who told you to turn? I didn't tell you to turn. Bergonia, Mecklen. Okay. Gearing is capping. All right, let's push up to full. If I was the Zao player, I would be playing out here in about E3, dumping my torpedoes into A. There you go. Murder the Shima. Murder him. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Did their entire team go to C? I'll be curious. Yeah, I see, I see it, Grant. I had to do a little bit of refresh over there. I'll get right on that, BIA. <laughs> All right, their Napoli is north. I think their whole team is north. I think their entire team is north. We gotta get we gotta cap and get moving. Oh, you took a torpedo, Salem. You weren't supposed to take a torpedo. Dummy. Where is the Zao? The Zao's the one I really want to find and murder if I can, but yikes, I'm not sure where to look. Shit, 
damage. Him looks like maybe he's trying to come back mid. What is the gearing just chilling in smoke? He's not even firing. He's just sitting in his own smoke. Like, hey, smoke's cool. There's the Zhao. What are you doing, Mr. Zhao? What are we doing? Don't shoot the Mecklenburg. Shoot the Zhao. I wish I had the AP still loaded for that shot. I'll take whatever I can get, though. Why the hell did our... Was that our gearing dying? No, okay. We are trading battleships or something. Oh, hey, what up? Mmm. Well, everything just happened there. Time to put on the beer goggles. Yeah, they should have. Yep. Shimma bought off a little more than he could chew there. We're going you backed out. Let's go charge this Zhao. Who have I got over here? I've got a Mecklenburg. Ah, oh, Salem bought it because he got stuck bow in. I get so tired of seeing ships make that mistake. I'll just go bow in. Everything will be amazing. No, it won't. Come on, Zal. Come on out. Come on here. Come on out here where we can say hello. You're gonna love it. Yeah, the gearing is just camped. Now, admittedly, his existence there slows these guys down a little bit. Might have overled him there. Yeah, he's gonna live through that, which irritates me. I should have killed him, but I overled him a smidge. Oh, for God's sakes. Zao's stupid armor. And I'm getting the torpedoes about right now, too, which also torques me off, but it's 100% happening. I think I just killed him right there, hopefully. Yep. Excellent. Good times. Okay. Now... No need to chase the Bergonia, who's right up around the corner here. These guys have to come to us. We have a ship lead and a cap lead. Lawman, I honestly the games have been pretty decent, but I did have I did have a a, a fairly salty moment not horribly long ago, so hundred percent. All right, Napoli, what are we doing, buddy? Keep turning. You don't know where I am. Keep turning.
Napoli can Citadel herself, right? Can't she? I have to believe that she can. He doesn't know I'm here. I have to make this shot count. Damn it. Are you serious? God, this thing's armor is so stupid. So flippin' dumb. Come on, Gearing. And you missed him. Amaze balls. You missed him. Come on, Citadels, for the love of God, please. Oh, for God's sake, I can't even get full pins. Thank you, Slava. Unfortunately, you're still dead. All right, boys. Here we go. I guess it's time for Brawly, Napoli. Let's do this. Because my, my gearing is dead. Oh, my God. Well, I'm not going to sit back and... I'm not going to sit back. We're going after these clowns. I'm 100% going after these clowns. Let's do it. He wasn't that angled. I mean, he had an angle, but it wasn't, an, it wasn't like a super crazy one. Forty-five is enough. Forty-five is no longer an auto bounce. Oh, well, I don't play with the stupid cheating mods that tell me the angle degrees. So. I consider the mod that shows you the exact angle you have to an opposing ship to be cheating. So I won't play with it. What up, boys? if he has torpedoes. He does, doesn't he? I'm about to die anyway. It's fine. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. He lived. That's irritating. This guy's AFK, I guess. Well, let's murder him. Yeah, I think they're Bergonia when AFK or something. <laughs> Alright, we'll trade caps then, my friend. fuck this clown. I'm okay with everything that just happened. Yeah, the red light, green light mods are hundred percent cheating. I, I I don't understand why Wargaming hasn't banned those already. The fact that they haven't just blows my mind. There are several mods in the game that I 100% consider to be cheats, and I legit don't understand why Wargaming hasn't just banned them. The Stoplight mod is absolutely one of those. Alright, so now I think it's possible for me to potentially, possibly, maybe, sort of, kind of, maybe play for the... play to kite. Now all I have to do is not die. You get some HE in the barrels so I can get some shells on this guy when the spotting comes around. Because my plane is actually getting to spot this clown, which is really awesome. Good. Need that. Migs? I fine. I, I I get it. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying it's great. I'm just pointing out the reality of the situation. 
I think they're I think they're garbage. I think they're cheats. Earn it. This guy's like, I have to get into silver. Can you just can you just surrender? No. Earn it. Come on, secondaries. Come on, secondaries. Come on, secondaries. Let's go get him. You can do it. Is he going to blind fire me and get me? Close. Come on, secondaries. Come on, secondaries. There it was. <laughs> right at the end. Right at the end. <laughs> Secondary Napoli is so much fun. Zero, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. That's a fun game. I like Brawling Napoli is fun. Brawling Napoli is fun. 2400 base. What the hell did my team do? Jesus. Oh my jeez. Oh my jeez. That's so ridiculous. Um okay, Xanda, hold on a minute. I need to check something. Are you are you were asking me earlier, are we running low on um codes because i think i want to do one more giveaway i do have plenty of stuff i just haven't uploaded it yeah 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 okay i see we're almost done here okay so Zando, let's do this these codes all expire in a couple of weeks here's what i want to do how many do i have of these left eight okay Zando. so we're going to do this in exchange in, instead what i want you to do set one up for that was fun kraken um the last two the last two crates the last two container codes five of the camos and then let's blow out the last eight um, Wings of Freedom. Perfect. Let's, that's, well, that'll clean up Wings of Freedom. That'll clean up the crates here. And if I end up with some camos that don't give it out, that's fine. And then I'll get, I need to get the 3.1 stuff put in um, uh, very, very soon. Guys, second giveaway of the night is up. Come on in. Type exclamation mark ticket space max. Please, please, please take Wargaming's free stuff. It does me absolutely no good. I don't want it. I want you to get it. It is literally wasted in my hands, okay? It just sits there on a spreadsheet and never goes anywhere. It's no fun. We don't want that. Um, so let the giveaway run for a bit. Now, somebody earlier, I forgot to show this. Somebody earlier was asking about uh, getting my, my Duke Nukem CD signed. That did happen, right? A couple weeks ago at Carrier Con. There's... Uh, old John St. John, he signed the cover for me in uh, a black pen. And then uh, the disc inside, I had him sign in bronze. I'm trying to keep it in the right, so the camera won't wash it out. There we go. So if you were you were interested in that, there that there was that. I forgot to show that earlier. Very, very, very fun. It's fun to meet him. Fun to meet him. I also discovered that they do a thing like, you know, you can... Um, he does one of those things, uh, what is it, cameos, right? You can go and you can... You pay him some money and he'll record some voice work for you. You know, I think it's like it's like it's like ninety seconds max or something. But I might have to I might have to do that for the channel someday. That might be kind of fun. Okay, um, we're gonna do one more game after this. It could be the last game of the night. What am I gonna do? 
I think I want to go back to destroyers. Now, Flaming has a request in here for European destroyer. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do Ragnar. I'm going to do Ragnar, just because I have not done a lot of Ragnar. And I think this ship has a lot of potential, like Smallland, on the right map. What my fear is, is that I'm going to end up on another hotspot game, and it's going to be total garbage. But I've gone, I've got main battery range working for me, so maybe it'll be less garbage? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, the gun reload is already pretty stupid. Yeah, 2.8 seconds on 6-inch guns is just dumb. Okay. I think this build is okay. I don't need gun feeder. Um, that actually might be solid, but I don't have a point laying around for it. Hmm. But I only got one more point coming. I could buy up into that point. I can get rid of the AA mods. Uh, let's do that. I don't need A. I don't need A in uh, in uh, <laughs> in randoms. I mean, uh, ranked this season. Okay, we'll give that a shot. I do not have a Gdansk. I am still on split. That is correct. Um, Xandy, give this giveaway about another 15, 20 seconds, and then let's lock it up and give out some stuff. <clears throat> Last chance, guys. Come on in. Enter the giveaway. Please, please, please take Wargaming's free stuff. It does me no good. I don't want it. Make it go away. Um, Adeldrell, there is... Um, you know what? I don't have a Clips channel, and I probably should make one. Um, let me... You know what I'm going to do? Hang on a minute. Welcome to okay. Jurassic Park. I just made myself a reminder. Sly Fox, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, I just made myself a reminder. Um, I got to scroll back up and find it. Adeldro, after after I get off the stream, I'm going to go add a channel in here. Uh, I'll add a Clips channel, and then you guys can... I'll open it up, and you guys can post anything you like in there. Okay, guys, here we go. If I call your name, you have won some loot. It's going to be Night Owl... Warco, Deck Cannons, MK, Spock, Mr. October, Rigged, JPK, Dr. T, Wife Agro, Son of a Hookie, BGM, H9K, again, Rigged, Warlock, Wixitron, and Speedy. Guys, if I've called your name, you have won some loot. I need you to whisper Xanda directly. Left click on his name. He's in that little announcement thing. Whisper him, tell him what server you play on, and he's going to hit you back with a link to your loot, okay? Uh, MK, I'm pretty sure I did call your name. Yes, I did, MK. You need to whisper Xanda to claim your loot. Okay, Flaming has a request in for a European destroyer. We're going to take Ragnar out for the last game of the night. Raz, appreciate you being here, my friend. Take care. Have a good one. Ragnar. I like this boat. The trick is that I think like Smallland in, a, in, the, in the very, very small format... She's very map dependent, right? Small and on certain maps in this rank season feels like utter trash. And I have a fear that Ragnar is going to suffer the same problem. I'll say that Ragnar, like if I go back, let's say I get hotspot again, Ragnar can go back to playing mid. And if I can murder the opposing destroyers, I can at least sit in mid and probably farm damage off of battleships. So we'll give it a shot. Evil, I wanted to love Austin. I struggle so hard with that ship. I struggle so hard with it. I wanted to love that ship, and I just, I really, really have a hard time with it. All right. So we are on Loop, which is actually not a terrible, necessarily, map for this, this boat. We're up against an opposing Smalland. He'll outspot me. Uh, they have three radars, amaze balls. So yeah, this is going to be fun times. There's the Austin from earlier in the night. Hopefully he plays a little better this game. Yeah, Evil. That was exactly that was exactly my reaction to Austin. She's incredibly hit or miss for me. All right, let's go. H9, I hear what you're saying and I 100% agree with you. <laughs> I 100% agree with you.
All right, I'm going to swing over and play broad on the one-two line in the hopes that I can radar somebody and make them make them angry. We'll see. Evil, I don't think it's... You're welcome, Deck. I don't think it's necessarily... I don't think... I think... Don't take this the wrong way. It's probably a little of both. Um, Austin is a very peculiar ship. She requires a very peculiar and I'll say very different play style to most light cruisers in my experience. So that's part of it. And the other part of it is you're probably coming into that ship with all the experience you've built up playing Atlanta or Wooster or Cleveland and thinking, oh, Austin's a light cruiser, but she doesn't play like so many light cruisers. She's so different. Um, and, and so you're having to kind of, for that particular one ship, you're having to unlearn what you've learned to play Austin differently. And so she's a real struggle. Which is a great place to start, Evil, but my struggle is is that Austin, to me, doesn't play like a Wooshta, right? Because the consumables loadout is so radically different. The ship itself is so radically different. There's so much different about Austin. It's just like, ugh. You have to learn a completely new thing. It's unlike any other boat in the game. People play Wooster more than Des Moines? No, Des Moines has significantly more playtime. Always will. Those American 8 inches on a 5.5 and a half second reload? Yeah, that puts that puts Wooster to shame, let's be honest. And Wooster's a good boat, don't get me wrong. But Des Moines is like, I'm better, and she is. <laughs> All right, Kerfurst is here. My money says one of these doofy radar cruisers is here. What I don't know is if the Smolland is here. So we are going to get... Yep, Smolland looks like he is here. So we are going to get down and dirty with these guys and have some fun with it. Hi, Petro. Well, that's probably going to get me dead. That's going to hurt a lot. That's going to hurt a whole lot. Be quick. Such good gas mileage. I'm gonna feel that one in the morning. Really, little spawn? You want to tangle with me at this range? Okay, let's go. I have way better gun ballistics than you, man. You got balls, but they they'll get blown off just as easy. Like, come on. I hate secondary battleships. They're so stupid. It's like, oh, I just have to sail around and murder you. Well, nothing nothing of interest happens. While my whole team ignores these guys, I get shot at by God and everybody. Yeah, I'm dead. Like, I'm already dead. I'm sailing around 12, like, 15 kilometers from this guy while my team ignores them all. It's like, what a waste of time. If you guys won't push up, they're going to own that cap, and there's nothing you'll ever do about it because you're all cowards. So have fun. I tried. The rest of you just rolled over and let them win. So have fun. I get so frustrated because it's like the only way you're going to win some of these matches is to be aggressive, right? How many times do you see the enemy team be aggressive while your team rolls, rolls around like a pig in the mud and accomplishes nothing? And they win easily. Yeah, I know, Sky. I know, Sly Fox. I know. But it's so frustrating because it's just like, look, if you if you play passively, you're going to lose. If you play aggressively, you might win. Maybe you should try the aggression on occasion. But everyone's like, oh, and I'm like, come on. Grow a pair of balls.
WBH is, uh, sorry, WB Happy. WB Happy 3 is our redraw winner. Who do we got that? Who do we got there? There he is. All right, WBH. All you got to do is whisper Zanda, tell him what server you play on, and he's going to hook you up with your loot. Please not everybody. Oh, for God's sake, why is the incomparable going to see? Oh, my God. Okay, fine. I will make a futile attempt to defend A while the rest of you go sail around in circles, but I'm going to laugh at you when we lose. So, Salty, you're not wrong. Being aggressive is more fun. Here's the trick. If you're like me, my thing is I almost, like, 98% of the time I'll play for the win. And sometimes aggression gets you dead, and aggression means you lose the game. It's not always an easy balance to find, and I get that. But what I find more commonly is players struggle and i have this problem too i'm not i'm not immune from this but players struggle to recognize when it's like hey the enemy team is hanging on by a thread if you push now you will crush them like a like an egg right great so i've got who coming with me just okay the monty huh? i guess we'll have to make it work and and so it's like if only you would do this if you would do the thing you might have a chance to win if you don't do the thing you are guaranteed to lose and it got such good it, it, you know, and that's, and that's the thing about aggression. Yes, it's more fun, and it might cost you the game, but it might also win you the game. Whereas playing passively is almost usually a guaranteed loss. It does depend on the on the match, but that's very, very common. Yeah, 100% Kraken, 100%. So tactical, I think it's um, I think it's I think it's the first right generally, especially in a ranked format or in a competitive format, right? What And you see this in King of the Sea all the time with the top teams. You are, you are stalling for time. You are playing intentionally slowly, intentionally passively, waiting for the other team to make the first mistake. And that's the goal. If you can be, if you can be the team that doesn't make the first mistake, that is a good gig, right? That's, that's what you want. You want to be the people that don't make the first mistake. Excellent. Good call, Hookie. Glad you got something good out of it. All right, I'm going to try this. This is probably a bad idea. I'm trying it anyway. Yeah, with the Conqueror there, this, is, this could be very, very bad. I'm going to move up and hope the Conqueror doesn't break my ship in half. Then I'm going to use this island to hopefully get the hell out of here. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Let's get the hell out of here. Who was that? Toxic. Toxic. <laughs> now, now, don't be toxic, toxic. All right. Now, we have still have no idea where some of these ships are. Oh, hey, what's up? What do we got, boy? Hey, what up, Delarna? How you doing? All right, now if I just sail right at him, the Kerfer's secondaries are going to chew me up. So I've got to cut back towards the edge of the, the, back towards these islands over here. And try to get to where I'll have a better angle on him and the secondaries won't be able to do much to me. You knew those torpedoes were coming, dude. I showed you where the destroyer was. Did you literally just sail right into them? Yes, luckily they don't hit that hard. Okay, so now... Here's how this is going to go. I'm going to move straight up the four line and look for shots on the Delarna. Oh, no, he's going to come out from behind the island. Okay, well, I'll take that too. Hey, what up? Are you sure about that? I hit harder than you. See what I mean? Your little tiny guns don't hurt me all that much, dude. You have 120 millimeter guns. Like, that's not going to go well for you. 
If you're if you're in a European destroyer, you do not want to fight this thing. I have better armor. Your guns, I will laugh off your guns. It will just it will go so badly for you. You really don't want it. I've got the lead right. I just can't seem to get the angle correct. There we go. Oh, he's actually getting shots on me now. That's kind of irritating. Well, I should get out of here then, because I moved up a little too far. Oh, look. My incomparable died. I am just so surprised. That is unthinkable. That would never happen. Nope. Try again, Mr. Zhao. Well, my battleships are not doing us any favors, obviously, given that the Incomparable just murdered himself. All right, oh, all right, Petro. No, you're going to take... He's going to ram you, and you're going to lose. Oh, you dodged it! All right, well, then, here, let me throw... Let me pitch in. Go away, Zhao. You piss me off. Oh my god, this Monty broadside to occur first. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? My god, what I wouldn't give for decent battleships in one, just one game. Jesus Christ. Oh my holy god. So many idiots, so little time. So the Yammy's on the the Yammy's on the ten line on the one line. All my battleships have just murdered themselves. Like just amazing. Well, Yamagiri, you're on your own, buddy. I have to get into a gunfight with a Kerr first and hope I can win. So yay, I guess. It's only take about an hour for me to kill this guy. No big deal. I don't even know who the hell just shot me. Nobody should have had shots. Oh. You. Yeah, you shouldn't get shots. I hit you a lot harder, by the way. You do you remember that? Do you remember? My armor kind of laughs at your guns. You know that, right? He doesn't know. This guy's now obviously never fought a Ragnar before. He doesn't understand how much harder my guns hit than his. Especially with his, uh, with his junky, chunky shells. Yeah, you're dead already. I mean, I got a kill, which is more than my battleships can say. So there's that, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to point out this. This is piss poor battleship. Piss poor destroyer play. Never do this. 
If if you play destroyer and I catch you doing this in in a ranked battle with only three caps, I will I will murder you. Right? You are a destroyer. Your job is to spot for the team and and control the and control the board. You do not control anything from the nine line on Warrior's path. Okay? So don't don't ever do this. I catch you doing this, I'll just throw you out of my channel. Also, you see this? This is similarly bad play. Right? Like if you're in a battleship in a ranked game and you're not you're not at least near cap circles and trying to fight over cap circles, you are not effective. Period. Ragnar best ship for randoms. I would say no. Um Ragnar's lack of torpedoes means that she can frequently find her in trouble find herself in trouble when she could really use the torpedo help, right? Exactly, Night Owl. This is a game about map control, right? This is a game about map control. When you surrender control of the map voluntarily by sailing to the edges of the map, this guy is worthless. I don't even think he's landed any torpedoes, right? Gene, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you, right? When you surrender total control of the map to the enemy for free, they didn't have to work for it. It wasn't like they fought you off and won. You literally just ran there and stayed there. You don't deserve to be in a game. Like, like, this is... <laughs> Just stop, dude. Just stop. You spent 45 or 50 million credits on a ship you have no idea how to use. Just please, that makes me sad. That just makes me so sad. Please don't do that. I mean, honestly, Xanda, I don't really care. I'm in silver. I got what I wanted. I really don't care how far I get tonight. It's fine. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hang it up. It is 100% time to hang it up making sure that yeah see it did the thing again okay i gotta work on this okay i clearly have some work to do on the the new button that i built earlier i'll work on that guys appreciate you being here thanks for hanging out with me tonight next stream monday night no streams this weekend monday night we're back on civ as we get into april you're gonna see a very very thin very thin schedule in april most of what i'm doing in april is gonna end up on youtube there will be very, very, very few streams in April. Okay? Just the way it is. Um, I'm going to Europe. It's going to be fun. I won't be here. So, sorry. I'm not going to complain. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not gonna apologize. Um, Warco, I have, to, I have to go back and figure out what you won. Give me a sec. Uh, I had it open over here, which would be this. And then you won... You won, you won camos and bonuses. So... It just... It basically... They just go right into your bank where you keep all that stuff. It won't, it won't, be, won't be much else. Yeah, 100% tactical. 100%. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. Um, as usual, guys, if you are on the YouTubes, we will just be ending the stream, and uh, that will be it. I appreciate you guys. If you are on the Twitches, um, we will be finding someone to raid, preferably someone streaming boats. I see Aerospace. I see Clappin. I've raided both of them relatively recently. Who else have we got going on? I see AF. I see Kev. I see Zath doing his overnight thing. I raided Boca just the other day. Um... I see obnoxious. I ended up we ended up in a we ended up in a ranked match with obnoxious on Monday night, I think. Zath and I did. Um I am not I feel like I haven't rated Kevin. Sir, are you classified as human? Uh, negative. negative. I am a meat, yeah, meat popsicle. popsicle. That is correct. Um I feel like looks like Zelda's just getting started. I might I might throw the I might throw it over there. Give her a give her a, a nice boost. We are gonna raid Zelda. Guys, if you don't know, um Thank you, Tactical. Uh, you might not have met Zelda along the way. Zelda Sauce is one of our new North American community contributors. She has been um, streaming the game for a while. She is much more casual about her game. So if you're, if you're, this is going to sound awful, and I don't mean it to be, but like if you're looking for like hardcore tips, how to win and stuff, that's probably not what you're going to get over there. She's much more laid back, much more about having a good time, hanging out with her community, and having a fun. Okay. So if you like that sort of thing, I would encourage you to check her out, throw her a follow, hang out in her stream. Give her a hashtag clever girl for me, and I will catch you guys on Monday. I'll see you on YouTube in the meantime. Y'all take care. Peace. See you later.